go. All right. So get that done. All right. We're playing a game. We're playing a video game. They might. Ugh, oh, bro, I'm so sleep deprived. And I got messy makeup I've never put on before in my life. Hello there. Hello there. Do I like a mess? What do you think of the red and black? I know Devin hates it. What's up, Devin? What do you, th what do you think? You hate it more or less than the red or black? Because I know you hate the reds, your least, the reds your least favorite. And the black you don't like either. So what about both? It's messy on purpose. Terrible. It's messy on purpose. I like my hair. My hair's messy on purpose, Devin. I Hooker? Alright. <laughs> but that's alright. Maybe I am a hooker done with four jobs, Devin. At least I'm making bank! Alright, bro. What the fuck was that? Chill out. Cool. Let me turn my music off, though. Let me turn off my emo fuckboy music, and then we'll start doing the stream. So. I think I look pretty. I try to look pretty. It looks a lot better on stream than in person, funny enough. Oh, thank you, Kit Kat. Thank you. You're hunting death roots, death birds, and dark cavalry knights. You fucking edgelord, or anti-edgelord, depends on how you want to look at it. You're either killing them to wear their skin to be the ultimate edgelord, or you're being a fucking narc and killing all the edgy enemies. That's it's just really, or you're an edgy narc. One of the t one of the fourteen options there I just listed. So far, I haven't lost once with my great jump stars build. <laughs> Both, nice. He's an edgy narc. It works. Um, but yeah, we're gonna uh, zoom this in. I don't have a migraine today. But I am feeling kind of like chillax. But once uh, give it a little bit, when uh, you know, am I wearing God's gonna apostle legs? I'm wearing someone's skin. Gross. I remember when I went here during my first playthrough. I casually walked the fuck off a ledge. Or sorry, this is the madness playthrough. I have to start with uh, madness. Let me go ahead and scream at the top of my lungs while doing a screaming emote. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Now that all is as it should be. Which, by the way, I love this. I love this spell. Making my damage turn us to fucking 600 is just amazing. Like, there's no reason for me to do 600 damage. But I do 600 damage. Even though it says 400, it's still 600. So I can appreciate that. Wow. Alrighty then. What the fuck even hit me? All right, all right. I already see how this is going to go. You know what? That is not what's happening. We'll stop in your tracks, tracks, vulgar militia greaves. I took your pants and your pride. What do you do now? And his life, but that's not nearly as important. His pants and pride were way more important. What's this weird glowy shit? I have no idea what's going on. Dude, okay, first off, that in no way does that amount of damage to anybody else with that fucking spell. The bro's just out here casually doing four bajillion goddamn damage. Like, it's like, like, what the fuck? There we go. Oh, I remember what we were doing. Cool, so we're going out into the snow to go find the fort, and once we find the fort, then we're going to go uh, to the Hallig Tree. I remember now. I remember now. Really? Oh, bodied. Really? Go ahead. Bro just whiffed. How did you whiff? I had nowhere to dodge to. And you still fucking missed. Impressive. Impressive. Only I can become the edgelord. Lord of edges. Really, I'm just killing everyone. I'm using an app to reveal their locations for execution. I want to get as many weapons, armor, and spells that I can get my hands on. Well, if you're just doing a jumping giant stars build, may I ask why you're trying to get everything? Or is there, is there like a greater meaning behind the jumping build? Like, are you jumping from your problems? Is that what it is? And you're trying to collect everything to make up from you jumping from your problems? 
Is there a deep message? Is it as deep as a middle schooler's Tumblr post? I just need to know. Also, why is this such a fucking drop-off? That damn near killed me. What the hell? Why does it drop off so much? Also, why is this area so fucking weird? It's like uncanny as hell. I don't remember this at all. I'm so uncomfortable. Like, I'm more uncomfortable here than I was underground. Oh. Nice. Bro's doing his best. Nice. That makes no sense. What the fuck was that game? What is happening with this interaction right now? What are you doing? Can you just, can you just attack me? Please? Please and thank you? You know what? I'm just gonna do this. Bro. What the fuck is hap- What is this interaction? Get the fuck off your horse. You know what? I will get down there and kick your ass. But you're being so goddamn toxic. I will kick, kill your horse, and then I will kill you. Bro just really is doing his best, and it's just not enough. It's simply not enough. Really? Can't you parry him? Actually, I don't know if it's worth it trying to parry him, though. That's my only problem. Like, trying to parry him, just I feel like, is too risky for me to really go for, you know? Oh my god, he does a follow-up to that? How fucking lame. That honestly should have hit me, but, you know, by all means, keep whiffing. <laughs> Keep fucking missing, please. That would be amazing. I would love that. Also, what the fuck is it that you're doing? You know what, bro? If this is really how you... What in the fuck? You're just hopping through trees now? I hate you. I don't even know what you drop, but I want you to know I'm gonna I'm gonna kick your ass and your entire family's lineage. This will not stop at this one battle, Black Knight. I will burn this entire world. Okay, what the fuck? Why are you just attacking in inconsistent combos? Just do your combo. This is not Tekken. Just do your full fucking combo. You're not cool because you did half the combo instead of the full one. No one's impressed, Night Cavalry. They're not. They're not cheering for you. They're cheering for me to lose. So that's it's not the same. Cheering for you to win and cheering for me to lose are not the same thing. Embodied. And really? Oh no. <laughs> Not the no FP skill kill. Hell yeah. I would have it no other way. <laughs> oh shit, that looks cool. I don't think I ever got that before. Phantom Slash? I genuinely have no idea what the fuck that even is. Not gonna lie, I hadn't realized the time. I was watching the uh, Roku screensaver, the one scrolling over a city and disassociating. I hadn't realized my brain stepped out for a bit. No, I just, ma uh, just wants to make the biggest jumps to conclusions. Right? It actually had good jokes and good songs. What are we talking about, Golden Swordsman? I'm sorry. 
It's so when I help my friend that's kind of new, I, I can meme around with whatever set I want. Like, be a Black Knight or be a Godskin or do a character build from an anime. Alright, I mean, I think that makes sense. Like, one build will be a cross of Escanor and Mel Meliodas from Seven Deadly Sins. I only know Escanor from Seven Deadly Sins, but I was like, yeah, that does sound fun. We've got both talismans for flame incantations, get a pretty good axe with a fire art on it, and guess a short sword with a black flame skill. There's... There is it one for there if there is one for it, so I need to get my hands on a fire giant's talisman and think there's one, for the god sling fire. Yep, the one for god sling fire is in Stormvale if you're looking for it. It's in Stormvale, but behind a uh, stone sword key. Yeah, it should be in the big field that um, or sorry, in like the courtyard of the castle where the uh, omen is at and the dog and the painting, and just a bunch of the uh, mil uh, soldiers. On like flamethrowers and ballistae, etc. Also, where the fuck is the map at? Oh, okay. I'm nowhere near it. Bet. Also, what? Oh, okay. Oh, thanks, thanks. Not like I was nowhere near it or anything. I'm sure that makes perfect sense. Also, what is this ground? Why is it... I will say that's one thing I do like about the jump button in this game. That the ground doesn't have to be, like, any set shape. Like, the ground can be whatever the game needs it to be. And that's something I can genuinely appreciate. I will never not think it's amazing that the ground looks as fucked up as it is. Like, it looks awkward, and yeah, it would look this fucked up being, like, some random goddamn mountain range. Like this, so it, it makes sense. Also... My other big question, what the fuck was that Knight Cavalry doing on this area? This is not a, this isn't like an actual like road road. So what is bro doing? Okay, so it was actually just a healing flask, which works because, you know a bitch, come near me. Dude, actually, what the fuck? Why does that do so much damage for them? At least I didn't lose a rune arc or anything. That and after my horrible migraine yesterday, I was also kind of expecting to play like shit. So here we are, playing like shit. Ugh, I did get my hands on a lot of good shields, so I can also do a shield hero build to meme with. That's a good fucking anime. I need to get, I need to go watch it again. I remember watching the uh, was it the first part of the uh, anime, but I never watched anything else past that first part. So. There is no telling how the rest, how good the rest of it is. Mm -mm. Yeah, we're just gonna walk by these guys. There's no reason for me to fight them. I mean, I would fight them, but they're kind of hitting way harder than they have any business hitting, so. I don't know, man. Whenever I'm playing a game and I start seeing Dark Souls 3 levels of damage, I kind of get annoyed. Which, to be fair, this game does do that. I, like, I, I do remember when I did play through, how, like, the very end of the game... I did start getting a little annoyed because the enemies did so much damage that it felt like Dark Souls 3. And that was like a big issue I had with Dark Souls 3 was the damage to everything ratio. So, like, like that. Like, thankfully, that's not too bad. Now them all spamming it is another story. Okay, we're spamming magic. Bet. Fucking good job. You were the only one I didn't fucking aim at, and you're the only one who got hit by it. What are you doing? I gotta give it to the AI, AI though. I was not expecting them to actually be maneuvering around me, so it's very interesting to see, like, the demi-humans and these, like, uh, vulgar, like, assassin-style guys actually, like, trying to outmaneuver you. Because a lot of enemies just kind of run straight at you in a, in a line. So to have enemies not just running directly at you is pretty interesting. It can be infuriating for, like, certain AoE spells, like, you know, flame of the Flame of Frenzy and stuff like that. But, like, that's the point. There's not, they're not supposed to be such an easy enemy to kill, you know? I 
Like the bell-bearing hunter shield, fingerprint shield, the visage shield, the one-eyed shield, and so on. Excuse me um, for a moment while I light my while I set myself on fire to stay warm. Uh, exactly. We gotta stay warm in these frigid mountains. Gotta stay nice and toasty. Come on. Let me in! Oh, nice. Nice. Is it just a giant skull? Because that's pretty fucking cool. Oh, it's a guy near the ledge. Perfect. Well, what a better way to sneak attack than by lighting everything on fire! I didn't think about the fact that I might be a little chilly. So, you know what? It's actually a good thing I have fire's deadly sin now. Now that I realize how much I truly needed this. Need to find the snake shield. I think that might be uh, every shield with an effect besides the spell that enhances shields. Um, I think there's some more shields with effects. Like, I think there's one shield with a flamethrower. Um, but I don't remember what the name of that shield is. So... All right, bro. Why are you... Why are there so many of these things? Does the game expect me to fucking take... I mean, I guess... You know what? I appreciate it. I appreciate that the game does expect me to take that much fucking damage. It's like, you know what? You're burning through your flasks right now. Have this. Like, it just expects me to be pissed off and losing all my HP. And you know what? I appreciate that it expects that. At least it understands what the fuck is going on. Also, why can I summon here? Black Blade Kendra. What? Oh, it's like, it's like a... oh, what the hell? What the hell are you here? You know what? Bring out the gang! Bring out the gang! That was not good at all, and that was also death effect for some reason. I do not appreciate how much damage he's doing. Why did that not even hit him? Why am I rolling in place? What is happening? What is happening to me? I can't do anything! His fucking roar does death flight? Or not death flight, but fucking stupid ass names. The death that isn't death flight. The destined death. There we go. You no, know, I'm sorry hitting you with the god slaying fire just to be a dick. I really do not like that you just did that. If, if I can share with the rest of the class, I certainly do not appreciate what's happening. I also don't appreciate you standing outside my range. Oh my god, bro. What is your what is your conundrum? Why are you only attacking them when I'm healing? Like, what is this? Also, why are you spinning in circles and causing death flight? And what's the, it makes no sense. Who gave you the power of destined death? Why the fuck do you just ran? What the fuck are you doing here? Just on the mountaintop. No, let's go for it. Weapons out. Weapons out. Get his ankles! You're fucked. Absolutely bodied! Well, that went well. <laughs> Whew. You know what? That's fair. He gave me two. He gave me two weapons. I will take that. I will take that. Oh, they're actually uh 
holy damage. Really? Death is holy? I mean, yeah, I guess the blade of death does holy damage, so. Or the, yeah, the black knife does holy damage, and it does the destined death. Hmm. That's very interesting. It's extremely interesting, actually. Uh, there's a gargoyle. What I miss? Well, you saw, well, you didn't miss me fucking up the gargoyle. You missed me dying to the, uh, vulgar assassin guys. And that's, that's about it. I've not really, I've not done too much. I mean, I did zoom in and show my, uh, weird looking makeup that I have on right now. But outside of that, uh, yeah, you've, you've really not missed a whole lot. I'm just trying to make sure I'm even going the right fucking direction right now. Nice. Oh, wait, okay, so this is where we go, like, through the Dectus area, right? I think so. I think so. I could be wrong. I could be extremely incorrect. Because that is gen that has very much happened before. Okay, yeah, I forgot that we're going to, like, a li uh, not the deck to, uh, lift of Dectus for whatever. We're going to a giant lift. I forgot that's, that's probably why the gargoyle is there, is to guard the lift. Because I think the, uh, what is it? They've got golems and stuff at the other lifts, and then a lot of the other gigantic architecture like this has a gargoyle in front of it, so it, it makes a lot more sense now. A little strange that it does destined death, though, so I am kind of curious on why. Does it tell me why? Uh, bronze twin blade wielded by valiant gargoyles, mended with blackened corpse wax. Deals holy damage. Such is the mark of those who serve Malekith the black blade. Yeah, just, they just serve Malekith. Any other further reason you like to go behind that, or you just you just you just butt buddies with Malekith? Like, is there any other thought process, or nope, nope, just holy damage, black blade of Malekith? All right, bro. Okay. Um, my iron's super low, so I've been getting extra cold and tired. But brain has started to head lightly into ma uh, mania nesting mode. It is worst combo I've ha had happened in a while. You well, hopefully you can, can actually. Why are you reading my fingers? Here you go. Turn back ahead lies than the way forth. Hear me. Doing so will unbind death. Who would dare? Most certainly. I would certainly do the task. Why not? Um. But no, we're not going to the Halig tree. But I am getting the Halig tree medallion. So we can go to the area to get the uh, spell that I want. So technically, yes and no at the same time. So yeah, we're not actually going to the Halig Tree. We're just heading in the direction of said Halig Tree. Um, and then we're going to go back to probably Nokron, Um More than likely. Because Nokron was the thing I was doing for Ronnie's quest, but I haven't went back there in a while. So... That's probably what we're what we're gonna uh, go do. Yeah. No. Nope. Because I think like Nokron has a lot of stuff down there that we that I want to go to that I haven't both that I haven't seen and a whole bunch of other things. All right. Drink some more water. That's okay. I'm hyper dragon somewhere too, but I'm fucking hating being a human at the moment. Well, aren't you, uh, what, when does Dragon's Dogma 2 come out? I know it's soon. And I know the, uh, what is it, the DLC for this game comes out in, uh, oh, I can't remember how many, like 90 ish days or so? Something like 90 days. I can't remember the exact number. But it's roughly 90 days. Weird that we got Fire Blossom. Really weird we got Fire Blossom. That, I mean, I guess once you get this far enough in the game, it's going to become more common. Rhymed Roma. Mountain top of the Giants. I'll say, I don't fully remember. Okay, so I need to go to this. So it does look like we need to go this way a little bit beforehand. Alright. 
And I don't like to just run through every area, so. Makes sense, makes sense. What the fuck is that? What the hell is there loot there? Oh, okay. Just the Ronin armor for some reason. Just for no reason at all. Alright, alright. I mean, I kind of like what we got going on right now, though. Like, it's... This looks nice. Like, it honestly does look pretty fucking nice with this armor. I don't know, I know this is the guy that, like, gets possessed by Shabriri there, but he's not there, so I don't understand. Wait, does he tell you about it and then you need to go back? Or something like that? I don't know. Aw, why? I just realized they don't have uh, as many options as they do in Dark Souls for the messages. I just realized that. They've got a lot less. That sucks. Yeah, you know what? I just realized they don't have any... You have no way to put tongue butthole on this in this game. You can't, you can't put that. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of... Wait a second. Oh, there we go. I didn't even realize you could do that. Okay. Never mind. I understand now. We're good. We're good. Um. Let's see here. Affinities. Frost. Frost. Therefore, time for madness. Perfect. We'll be a good... Mm. Just do the ring emote for no reason. Oh, my body's like... Wanted Dragon's Dogma? What is uh, not wanted? Either tomorrow or the 22nd. My fingers are cold enough. They aren't fully working on touchscreen. I mean, that's fair. I completely understand that. Because sometimes when it is that cold, it, it does get a really annoying. Come on, brother! We shall cover these poor fools in madness. What in the fuck? What in the fuck? Really? That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Get her! There we go, there we go! Roman the Nomad! Good job, Roman. I'm proud of you. Even though he doesn't seem like he'd be a very good pick for this area, Roman's doing his best. Oh, my finger. Uh, Izzy, I sent you a gif. Words can't express my rage. Shit not working, and Twitch doesn't do gifs. That is kind of shitty. Um, since it's hot. Since we. I was gonna say, since it's cold, we'll try to spread some fire then. How about that? Damn. All right. Really? What? I can't backstab you? Why the fuck not? I don't like you. You frosty piece of shit. Burn with the rest of the world! Leave... What is his name? Randall? Leave Randall out of this. Randall did nothing to you. 
Uh, well, you see, had I not recently recruited Randall, I would remember their name better. Uh, well, Devin, maybe, maybe you should have a better, more memorable name. And I'd actually separate just... No, no, actually, first off, you're wrong. Secondly, I said your name, jackass. You already hit... Like, oh my lord. Get a more unique name. Get more based parents and pick a name that I've not heard of before. Yeah, you know what? Yes, actually. I've met one person ever with my name. And you know what? Actually, no. I didn't even fucking meet them. I was told of them. So yeah, no. I agree. Completely. Um, I believe this just lets me throw this shit down, doesn't it? Doesn't it, like, heal me because I have the Frenzy Flame? Does it heal you? Where the fuck did you go? Did you, you just, not a fan? <laughs> not, not a fan? I don't think so. Yeah, I think since you're not madness related, it won't heal you. That's a damn shame because it's fucking healing me. Oh shit, I, we, were, we were supposed to go back to the moat. Forgot about that. Oh well, we'll get back there eventually. I'll probably go forward in here a little bit and then go back to that. The only problem is I don't really like this area or these enemies. <laughs> this is where the game slowly like says, you know what, Dark Souls 3 is a thing, let me remind you of it. And I'm kind of like, ah. Do I want to be reminded of that though? No. While I get that kit. Um, I feel like the fire giant is going to be a pain for you, Edgy, with the madness. Randall! Nah, Edgy has Mark. He'll be fine. At least get the next somber bell bearing. Well, I don't think the, um, I don't think the giant will be too much of an issue. It's just simply... You gotta realize, at the end of the day, I could still technically spam black flame. So, I mean, fire is fire. <laughs> I'm not too picky of what what type of fire. Fire is fire, so 100% we'll just use optimal fire. No, 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 no. Randall, Randall. <laughs> Be more sneaky, which I do appreciate that Randall is sneaking around. Like, look, look at bro, look at bro sneaking! He's a sneaky snake, he's doing his best. And you know what, I love that. I love that for him. But I think there's... Ah, there they are, immediately. So, out of all the enemies in the game, why am I getting jumped by two of these? I'd rather get jumped by two Madness Trolls, a.k.a. Foreshadowing. No, I don't mind common names. I'm just being an asshole to Devin. Not Randall from downtown! Let's go! That was dumb. That was dumb and uncalled for, and you know it. Get him! Really? You know what? Dodge this shit. If you must dodge, dodge directly into it. No! Leave Randall alone! Randall! Randall, don't die yet, please. You mean too much to me. I know you did not just do that. Get him, Randall! 
Yo! Randall with the fucking last possible kill. Bro is in negative HP and still getting kills. I knew he was the right summon for this. Not only is he stealth, but he's optimal. Using his fire edgy will outfire the fire giant's fire with his own fire. Giants. I love him. He is best boy. He gives puppy vibes. Speaking of madness trolls, fighting fire with fire. Oh, yeah, I think the madness spell you want is near you. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I know. That's so, like, that's actually the whole reason we're going here, Sora. Is we're going up here to this to go, to get over here to get the spell. And then once we do that, then we're going to go way the fuck back down here to Nokron. And we're also going to go to uh, the moat. But we're going to go to the moat probably very soon. Um, I just needed to... Uh, I just needed to get um, the next uh, bonfire since I'm already out here grabbing this shit. So. That's not the spell I wanted. Alright, bro. Are we being serious right now? You know what? I actually don't mind this. This, now this is something I can get behind. You know what? This actually is valid. Fuck this area and fuck these enemies, dude. Uh, thank you for blessing us with the wonderful quotes, Izzy. <laughs> um, I have 57 recorded edgy quotes. Um, and spell you want is down some stairs in the ruin with the madness enemies. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's we're nowhere near it, sadly. What in the fucking hell? First off, guaranteed damage is bullshit. Secondly, literally what doing half my HP. Really? hate these enemies, dude. Absolutely. I I will happily read the quote as soon as I literally just don't even fight these enemies. This is just... Oh my god. Why do we have to get... Why does the area have to be with, like, do enemies it. that I just don't like? Just like, why, do it! Why does it have to be an area with enemies that are just poorly fucking designed? Can't it just be an area that's icy with interesting ice relative enemies not just like like literally fighting 14 black knights in dark souls one at the same time would be more reasonable than just two of these and then they have fucking the audacity the audacity to have three like that's just insulting really like it is actively insulting to my intelligence so is that It's like, like with me just, you know, sniping them with madness just now. Honestly, that's the only way killing them, like, is even reasonably fair. Because, like, everything else, that, everything they're doing is going to be the most bullshit combo nonsense. The only way I see, like, even in a 1v, 1v1, they're being fucking oppressively annoying. And the fact that they have two or three or four, like, ugh. Like that. And that. Nice. Holy shit. Get me the fuck out of here. We are not doing this. I I'm not doing this. I did this my first playthrough. I'm just not doing it again. We're good. I got what I wanted. That's all I needed. 
That sucks. That sucks. I play the game for fun, not to ruin my own day. So we're we're gonna keep moving. <laughs> Honestly, fuck you, bird. Also, what is this? That means there's like a what is it? Like a dungeon or something close by? I think. Nice. I just don't know where. Hold up, let me go ahead. Thank you. Appreciate it, bird. Appreciate it. All right. Madness infused trollcock right down my throat. Um, there's something as known as ignoring the enemies. Edgy or femboy, you were never intelligent to begin with. Haha. <laughs> oh, well, good thing I don't do intelligent build intelligence builds. But you know what? I didn't need it. One of my favorite edgy gamer quotes. Ooh, we can we can have chicken wing. We can have chicken wing. I do like chicken wing. Chicken wing is pretty fire. Also, why? So it's pointing this way. That's just literally the direction I'm going. What was the point of that? Or is it something like I'm supposed to see? I don't really know. Actually, are you important? There we go. Oh, God damn it. Somber smithing stone. Do better, game. Do better. Give me better loot. What are you doing? All right, bird. I'm sorry, but it's your time. Thank you. So it's interesting. These are storm hawks, but like, oh, is this a hidden wall or something? No. Toxic tarnished ahead. The fuck do you mean toxic tarnished ahead? What is? I'm so confused. Played absolutely bodied. What is the point of this? idea um i hate the bird enemies way more than the dog enemies see like the bird enemies they're definitely annoying but like especially when you put the bird enemies in an area that has the fucking whatever zamor enemies or whatever you want to call them the bird enemies look like the most fairly balanced un understandably fair enemies i've ever fucking seen Compared to, like, any of this fucking nonsense. Like, the Zamor enemies? Like, I understand. They want to put more of them down. You want to put the Frost enemies in the Frost area. And I get it. People are going to be busted at, like, certain points of the game. But, like, what the fuck? I feel like they should have done, like, one of those. And then, like, okay, at most, one area with two of them. And at most, one area with three of them. Not an area where you fight one and then another... Or not one, and then a pair of two, and then a pair of three, and then another pair of two. Like, I feel like that's just annoying. Like, that's just annoying and excessive, you know? But that is just my opinion at the end of the day. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Not Randall bringing out the fire once again! Come on, Randall. We'll show them the true fire! I like that Randall is actively sneaking with me. I honestly love that. Like, no one said Randall had to sneak with me, and bro is just doing it. Did you actually just do that? Did you actually just get outspaced? What the fuck? No, we're not playing this game. Do you have a fucking whip? Hello? God damn it, you short king piece of shit. Get him, Randall! Oh, 
Now Randall getting him with the whip. Get him, Randall! What the fuck was that fast ass attack? This is for Randall! He will be avenged! Pretty epic fight, I won't lie. Kind of, kind of baller. Watch this collat. Mom, get the camera! That's not the move I was trying to do, but that is a move that I could have done, so. Hell yeah, bro. Hitting a collateral with that spell is actually pretty fucking satisfying, I won't lie. Like, it, it is pretty damn fun. Ooh, Briars of Punishment. I remember that spell. It's a pretty good spell. Um, I, I blame Kit. Why you blame me? What's what I do? Because you are small. Small equals evil. Okay, but am I being blamed for? I missed that part. Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. Being blamed for something. Who knows? But yeah, I feel like the Zamora enemies wouldn't be nearly as much of a problem if they just kind of made them a little bit more sparse or like reasonably placed. But I feel like when you just put one really difficult enemy... Like, imagine if you fought Crucible Knights, right? And you went to one area and you fought one. Then the next spot there were two. Then there was three. Then there was two more. And, like, you know, what, wouldn't that just be infuriating? Same thing with the fire guys. Like, you know, what if they just did that? Everywhere. Like, you need to... You need to mix it up. You can't just have one fucking thing over and over again, you know? Wonder, can I wear heavier armor yet, or no? I actually can, funny enough. Can I wear the full scaled set except for the helmet? Nope, we're getting there though, we're getting there. We're actually pretty fucking tanky now, I think. We're getting close to 30. Really, it's the only, only the helmet and the gauntlets that are kind of holding us down. Because once I get up there to like this... No, it's still not quite to 30, but... Nonetheless, nonetheless. I'll say, do I want to do this before I go fight the guy? Nah, I think I'll go fight him real quick. Get me out of the snow area for a minute, you know? Because I don't want to go from enemies of Zamora immediately into fanged imps, you know? Like, fanged imps are just... Ugh. Yeah, here, let's go check out the... Uh, let's go check out the moat. I think I need to go here. Also, I think we're going to be getting one of the other summons that I'm sure, that I uh, want to use for the playthrough here. It turns out there's actually a lot of uh, fire-based summons uh, in the game, funny enough, so it'll be pretty good. Um, the only question, though, is like, um, you know, once I do this playthrough, what ending do you guys want me to do next? Like, if I were to do this, once I get done with this playthrough, would you guys like me to do the seedbed curse one next? the death one next. Um, I think you guys said do the golden order last. I'm doing the normal ending with uh, Dylan. So I have the Ronnie ending technically that I would have to do, but we'll see about that. Um, death rune? That'd be interesting. Death rune would be an intellect uh, faith split build if you are curious. It'd be probably the closest I'll do to, like, a full-on caster. Or maybe with Ronnie's, I will be a full caster. That'd be interesting. I don't know yet. Save Rune of Death and Gold Mask for last? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll let multiple people decide on that one. Because I feel like, you know, with how long these playthroughs are, I would like, I would like a lot. I'd like to hear from multiple of you guys, you know, for each one. Do Lord Shit Eaters next? Yeah. Then I was seen here again. Never thought I would. What he does to those bodies. It was. It was him. 
No question. That monster. He's lurking round there. What the fuck? Hey, bro. Hey, bro. What you got? Bet. Ew. Why these crabs look so weird? Uh. Crabs, you guys look fucked up. I'm just gonna do what needs to be done. Really. Yo, know fine. There you go. It had to happen. It had to happen at some point. At some point. Do sword li uh forge to eaters next. I'd say for Ronnie, do a strength and intelligence build so he can use the Dark Moon Greatsword at least. Rune of Death and Gold Mask would be great to do last. I don't think he has to do Ronnie's. He did her ending in the first playthrough, I believe. I did, I did. So I was about to say, I, I did her ending on my first playthrough, so I don't know if you guys would want me to. So here, I'll save that one also up to chat. Would you like me to do a Ronnie-themed playthrough? Because this is on my PlayStation, so technically speaking... I don't, I, I don't have that ending on this character or on this uh, console. And my, and my entire playthrough was not relative to anything, so you know. It's up to you guys if you guys would like to see something. Up to you if you want to use other strength and weapons, but I at least say use the Darkman Greatsword. Yeah, because I know that one is uh, specific for uh, her pl uh, her thing. I'll see how chat I'll see how chat's feeling as I do more playthroughs, but I'll probably do uh, either Dung Eaters or Rune of Death next. I just haven't picked one yet. Really, you said you would say her ending is overdone. Um. I know none of the endings. I'm just here for the vibes. Oh, well, here, I'll actually uh, tell you a little bit about him, Kit Kat. So, I don't know the full story of every ending, um, but the different endings in this game, you have a basic ending, so we're not really going to worry about that. Then, um, the ones we're talking about right now. So, right now, the madness ending is basically setting the, uh, about, you know, like, burning everything down because the whole world is filled with so much despair and negative emotion and hopelessness that we might as well just burn it all down. Um, the Rune of Death is basically, I believe, um, death isn't allowed in the world right now. And the Rune of Death is basically allowing death to happen again. Um, Ronnie's quest line is basically voiding out, uh, making the world void of everything. Uh, and, sorry, leaving the world be and moving into a different future. And into the cosmos, basically. And then the Golden Order ending, I don't know what that one is, but it's basically holy magic and good things. And the Dung Eater is basically cursing the world to be ever in pain, ever in agony, and you're cursing somebody and their children and their children's children for all of time and going around and screwing everything up and not allowing anything to ever be okay ever again. Basically, the dick move. Not the big dick move, the dick move. Don't make me cause poison to you. So where the hell is this fucking dug here? Everyone does her ending. You do dung, uh, dung eater. You have to use his armor and weapon when you can. Oh, I'll, so I will say this: when I do dung eater, um, I will probably, um, I'll, God damn it, I'll probably do stuff like, debi I'll do like debil debilitation stuff, and I will be doing intellect and faith, 
So I'll probably be doing intellect and faith, but I'll be doing a lot of status ailment stuff. So like, what is it? I may not, I may not do just. To, I'll probably be using a lot of these just to upgrade my stats, basically. So like this one here, I'll probably do like this one, where it upgrades my. Uh, what is it? Not this one, but the one that upgrades my intelligence and faith and arcane and all that. I'll probably do that one, but then like makes me take more damage. I'll I'll do that. What the fuck is the dung eater, by the way? Where the fuck is bro at? I literally just came down here. He just said in the moat, and I went down in the moat. Um, I don't know if I'll do uh, that uh, that armor, though. But I will be using the... Uh, let's see here. The omen bearing thing or whatever. The thing that you that you get that's relative to uh, the thing that he uses basically. Yeah, where does he spawn in at? I thought he spawned down here. I must be wrong. Um, he doesn't have to. Yeah, but it makes sense to to use it to do a specific ending though. Yeah, but also his armor looks like shit, pun intended. It, do it doesn't look good at all. Otherwise, it's just a regular playthrough then. Gotta jazz it up. Oh, well, no, no. So, like, the jazz up is basically like this. So, like, I'm not just outright wearing Vike's armor, but we are doing the madness ending. You know? Like, a lot of people would say, like, with the madness build, I would have to use, you know, the madness shield, the fingerprint shield. But instead, I'm using, you know, the flame crest wooden shield. And, you know, some people would be like, oh, well, you're using, you know, you're using Black Flame. You're using Catch Flame. Fire's Deadly Sin. You know, I want it to be themed, like, you know, on theme, but it doesn't, it doesn't need to be so on theme that it's overly restrictive. Does that make sense? Like my scaled armor right now, you know, like the scaled armor may not be particularly the exact perfect theme for it, but it does look pretty cool. And, you know, Vike was like a knight and the whole you know so i think it kind of goes with it pretty well even if it's not specifically vikes armor yeah because I, I feel like you can wear other armor and it still be themed because i would still be using the themed stuff you know I'm sad he isn't. <laughs> uh, you need to do a part of, a part of his quest, I believe. Then he will invade the crab guy. I thought that he... Uh, I already did uh, the part where he says, I'll beat you up in the moat. I was already... I went to that exact moat. I don't know. We'll go back over here real quick. We'll go back over here where the crab guy is at then. Dung Eater ending sounds like, well, the shit ending, like you eat shit. You can save Crab Guy if you finish his quest before doing Dung Eater. Oh, then how do I uh, save Crab Guy? We'll save Crab Guy. Rip. Oh, yeah, so this helmet actually shows my eyes. So the problem with the helmet that shows my eyes is no matter what I do, you can't see my eyes because of my hair. Oh, that's pretty fucking horrifying, isn't it? But yeah, whenever I do the Dung Eater ending, I'll probably look like a fucked up wretch. Of some kind. I haven't done this quest in forever. Well, the thing about the madness is I wanted my character to look a little unkept. Which is funny, because he has, like, my hairstyle. So that, that's, that's the fucking dumb part. <gasps> that serves me right. Fitting bloody end. For a jumped up little shit with big ideas. 
Help me out. Would you make? I don't want to get cursed. <laughs> Just let me die. I don't want to live like this. Not anymore. So, please. No! God damn it. Where the fuck is he? <laughs> you want emotion, dung eater? Get your fucking ass over here. God damn it, crab. Crab, fuck off. I will, I will kill you both. I'm not above killing you both. Thank you. Kill the crab. Bullshit. Bullshit! How much stamina does one fucking fat dung eater need? You know what, bitch? Come here. No way. This is really romantic. That was some bullshit. Go ahead, come here. No, bitch, I'm not even going to go for this anymore. I, you know what? The bug's dying. Come here. Come here. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Dude, what? No. No. Shut the fuck up, Dung Eater. You were evil, but this bug is pissing me off. Where is it at? Dude, get your ugly ass over here. Not you, Dung Eater. No one asked for you. You're not, you're, you're ugly, but I'm sure you smell worse than you are ugly, so. Fuck over here. Fight me then. You want the beef? Come get it. Holy shit. Holy shit. It finally attacks me and it misses. You, how? How are you this much of a fucking annoyance? Fight me! Thank you! Oh my god. Now, now you want it too! Bring it! I am, I am sick of this 3v1 bullshit. What the fuck is that low sweep? Fuck off, bug. All right, back to the game. Oh my god. Driven mad! Ah, damn it, I didn't want to kill Crab Guy. That makes me sad. That makes me sad. Well, you know, there's a bright side to this. He won't have a world to, come, to re be reborn into, anyways. It's all going to be burned to the ground. Um. Can't rate Ed Edgy's fashion for us. Same. And when I did, I accidentally clicked on Ronnie's sign instead. That was the last thing to do. Oh, too late. Told you, Rip. Oh, you had to finish Dung Eater's quest first. He was going to die either way. I think as long as you don't talk to him in the first location, I don't think he moves from there. You finished Dung Eater's quest before buying Prawn from him. He would have lived and stayed there and living peacefully. Get killed a Dung Eater. If I remembered right, his armor is one of the beefy armors, Lameo. Edgy checked the PlayStation message, killed him by screaming. I mean, yeah, killing, killing him by screaming is the best way. Of course, that's why he ate so many curse buds. Guess that it was bugging you. 
And here, we'll look at the Dung Eater. Check the Dung Eater's... Has the Dung Eater been mewing? Oh my god. Bro's, bro's never mewed a day in his life. Come on now. Come on now, what's that jawline, bro? That's horrifying. Horrifying. Well, we can still buy crab. I'm just simply going to be sad about it every time. Like Caveman Devin. God damn. Got his ass. Alright. Where am I going? The fuck was I doing? I actually don't remember. Uh, maybe? No. I was gonna go back up here. That's what I was doing. Well, I should probably upgrade my weapons, though. Especially for what I'm doing. Lay out your own. Lay out your arms, then. Yeah, I should probably upgrade this. Yeah. Um, is the mat... Yeah, he's ugly. Well, of course, that's why he ate so many curse buds. I just showed Devin the Dung Eater. Let's see if Sora is right. Um, I have a question. How? What's the max level for a uh, normal... Okay, cool. So it is 25. That is the max. Gotcha. That's what I was trying to figure out. So we got a D, 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 and B, so that's pretty fucking good. That's nearly 200 now, actually. Nice, that's nice. And then we got a... Not bad, and then we got a D, B, and C. So I need to upgrade my dexterity. But as we continue... Um, oh, shit, I need to upgrade the uh, god skin... Uh, Great sword, because that's the other weapon I was wanting to use. It's a little heavy, but we'll we'll get to it. I'll probably switch to it at different times, you know? Why not, right? Yeah, it scales better with decks as well. Good, that's what I was hoping for. Ah, oh, I don't have a plus seven. That sucks. That sucks. How much damage would I do with that weapon, I wonder? I can't two-hand it when I'm in here. Are you fucking kidding me? Five fifty-five. It actually does more damage than my uh, great spear. I guess I would hope it would, with it being as big as it is. So, yeah. Cool. I'll have to try that out once I uh, actually, you know, have uh, have enough strength to hold the damn thing. Can I get a plus seven somber? No, I cannot. All right. Back to what we were doing. To the mountaintops. I'm going to try to get a godskin run while helping my friend play. I just need the spells and my ashes of war and a seal. You now have access to crouch poke. Right? Optimal crouch poke. Whoops. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do the invasion thing. Watch it, like, have me invade somebody at Ferrum Azula. That would be hilarious, actually. What the fuck, dude? How do you even land at that angle? There we go. Well, at least when I come back, you'll be dead! And I'll feel a little bit better about that, so. Edgy uh, test like crouch poke in thy invasion. My, my sword's not even upgraded. That would be a shitty idea. Are we really just... Well, we're gonna... Nope, no reason for that. Yeah, I don't get it. Just farming invaders. That's just such a pointless waste of your time, you know? 
Why don't you just play the game together, you know? There's no reason just to farm invaders. Oh well. Yeah, gank squads are bitch-ass cowards. I agree. I agree! It's so interesting, because I did not play this game with a shield last time I played, so this is just kind of throwing me off actually having a shield. Hear me roar! The Katy Perry song will be known from far and wide. Sorry, sir, but you're fucked. On a scale of 1 to 10, you're fucked. I'll say, I, I keep feeling like something's going to drop down and just hit me. And I'm just not ready for it. Hello? Hello? Oh my goodness. Damn, why does this elevator go so far down? I, mean, I guess we are on the mountaintops, but Jesus. Also, I forgot to go to the other uh, place in the catacombs. Or sorry, yeah, in the uh, in the underground area. Cool. So that's not really doing anything. Anything down there? Oh my God, yes. There's the peeler, the stitcher, and the god slayer. It's a shame, it's a shame. I'm trying to interact with the commu uh, community a little bit, but I guess it's not want me to. I've had fun peeping invaders when playing with my friend. It forces him to play better and learn how to do the one thing a bridge piccolo couldn't teach a bridge to Gohan how to dodge. I mean, yeah, that's fair. Absolutely fair. Die. And far, and I think this goes to a secondary elevator. Yes, it does. So what's in here? Probably nothing. It's just no. Nope, there's actually something here. Nice. What's down this way? Daddy, no! Uh, Daddy, yes! Yo, the spacing. I've never seen better spacing than what I just did on accident. So that. Mommy Milter. I'm Mommy him. Milters. I'm better. Mommy Milters. Mommy Milters. Mommy <laughs> Milters. Mommy Milters. Mommy Milters. <laughs> Mommy Milters. Are we clacking at the side of Mommy Milters? I mean, that's fair. That's a fair response. Oh my goodness. The fuck is this? It goes even further down. Absolutely fucking love it, Izzy. Whoa. Whoa. I know I love Whoa. elevators too, chat. I truly Whoa. love elevators as much as the next guy. Wow! Boom! Go down further. Nope. Ha boom! Ha boom! Ha boom! Oh, so just living pots. Okay. I can live with that. I don't know. I can't. Hello there. General Kenobi. Yo. Are we good, Mr. Pot? I didn't realize we had beef. The only reason I found you again is because I looked for shitty content today and you were on the first page. Fuck. Did bro just cast a magic on himself? That's pretty cool. That's extremely cool. Also, I think you're extra weak to lightning now, by the way. 
Yeah, you can't move. You're actually weak to lightning. There we go. Nice. Yeah, there's... There's a, there's there's a beauty in lighting yourself on fire. <laughs> Whoops. Oh well. Didn't mean to do that, but here we are. Here I am on fire and you also on fire. Oh nice, Kaylin. Where are they hiding? How much is that Dragon Communion? Hmm. I believe he's immune to damage. Yeah. Alright. Well. More people just kinda... wasting time. Alright. No fun allowed. No fun allowed indeed. I didn't realize you were peaceful. I'm so sorry. Mini Edge. Who is that? Who is Dark Reverie? Why is that? I don't know who that's supposed to be. I'm so sorry if that's somebody watching me right now. I genuinely have no idea. Um, I've currently 424 memes on my phone. We memeing? I'm here for it. Meme time. It's time for meme review. Gather around, everybody. It's meme time. No, we need time for bonus meme is what we really need. We need to bring back the bonus meme. It's a new one. Yeah, it's, uh, if you do, if you go up to that, uh, dragon communion thing... Whenever you're invaded, if you just go to talk to it, nothing can hurt you. Like, you're, you're you basically become stant, just iframes. Your whole body is iframes. But it sucks, man, because I'm actually trying to participate with the, uh, community a little bit. I mean, sure, people probably think my madness build is infuriating, but I'm not doing anything that toxic. Like, it, it is... I feel like I'm not doing a one-shot build or anything super dumb, you know. Like I'm using I'm using a great spear with a shield. I could be dual wielding the great spears for maximum proc for the madness, but you can tell that's you know I'm just kind of playing the game rather than going for a PvP meta build. I remember people hiding in places torrent can only help you get to and then get shot by jar cannon. Yeah, there is a lot of people doing some stupid shit like that. We're not wrong. What? That's lovely. That's lovely. I'm hurt. How horrible of a fucking enemy do you need to be? Why is this whole mountaintop got to be like nothing but the worst enemies? It, like the catacombs are the fucking imps and then the giant imps, like really? Fuck out of here, bro. Be a better enemy type. That's right. That's fucking right. You don't know who you're fucking with. I am the edgy gamer. The one who is truly mad. Exactly. Trust me. I am mad. I'm fucking losing it. As long as I don't have the bad part, though. I may be mad, but at least I'm not bad. Let's just... Ooh, nice and chilly. 
What the fuck was that aim? You know what? Get played. Get fucking played. You don't, you're not even worth the execution. Sit the fuck down. I outplayed all of you. Honestly, killing enemies with the traps is just the most wonderful thing. It's what really makes the catacombs so much more interesting. Also, which messages of mine are getting raided? Cross. Okay, so we have. Praise the madness. Could this be a madness? Behold madness. Madness, oh madness. Frost, therefore time for madness. <laughs> like, what is he talking about? The madman? Nobody knows what he's talking about. No, 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 no. Never supposed to do the same thing with the filthy Aldrin faithfuls. Oh no! How am I not frostbitten right now? That's insane, actually. What the fuck? Consider me beyond amazed. Okay, how is the lever still not here is my question. What the fuck is this lever? Is it up there? Nice. Oh shit, 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 shit! SHIT! Oh my god! Go back down, please! <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. Yeah, where the hell is that lever at? Why is there no lever action? I literally thought I- did I pull a lever yet? I don't fucking know. No, I can't go further down. I also got ashes, so that's pretty good. I got one of the ashes I was looking for, which was the Fire Monk ashes, so I can at least appreciate that. You ate the lever? You know what you might have, dude? I can't fucking find it. Wait a second, this is one of the ones you don't need a lever for? Watch it be one you don't need a lever for. Yeah, so it is one you need a lever for. Where the fuck is the lever? I got the Fire Monk ashes. So where would the lever be hiding? Also, let's read what the fire monk ashes say. Spirit of a stout monk who monitored the giant's flame, versed in fire incantations and himself steeled against fire. Though he was charged with keeping watch over the flame, after many years of solemn duty, he has succumbed to its allure. Ooh. Ooh. Sounds spooky. Yeah, there's no lever in here. I need to get up there. Where the f Fuck do I go to get up? Oh, there's a goddamn staircase in here. Maybe if I used the environment. Maybe, just maybe. Oh, no. Well, at least I have fast reaction time. At least I'm lucky. What? Oh. Oh, these are all... I know what type of pot guys these are. Jesus. Hello, pot man! No? Okay. <gasps> I need to go to the pot village! I forgot! Could use more garlic. I mean, I love garlic. Who doesn't love garlic, though? Garlic is always good. What the fuck is this dungeon, dude? We're just placing the... We're just placing shit wherever the fuck we feel like now, aren't we? We're literally just putting random stuff everywhere. Like, hey, what could this place use more of? I don't know. Pick something. And then we just did that something. Sorry, Pot. I, I can't just live with the fact that you're going to turn on me, so... I'm just going to kill you now, and then just cry cry tonight when I go to sleep, so... I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no.
Come on, Mr. Potman. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get caught! God damn! I guess when all three hit him, it's gonna do way more damage. I didn't know if I had like a, a registered thing where only one of the three could hit, but no. I cert certainly not. They all hit. What kind of pots can I make? Can I make any pots relative to my character, I wonder? Beast lure pot, alluring pot. Ooh, curse blood pot. That'd be really good. Rose to douse enemies with curse of blood. There we go. Right? Yeah, we'll do that one. Perfect. Actually works out really well. Um, and the normal pots? I just don't think... You know what? I could use oil pots. If we're gonna hit them... You know what? Bet. We can oil our enemies up. Pause. <laughs> we can oil them up before we light them on fire. There we go. You don't have to pause with that one. No pause necessary. Wait, is there no... I thought the lever was up here. Dude, now I really don't know where the lever is. Oh, this is a different room! This is a different room. Okay. Had I known, I... Yeah, I did not, I did not realize. <laughs> I am completely lost. I think. Is that a different room? I'm going in circles at this point, right? Like, I don't know where I'm at. I think I've been here before, right? No, I haven't. Where the fuck have I gone? Oh, God. Fine, go this way and I'll just run up. Dude, no fucking way. No fucking way the imps don't spawn. But when I... Thank you. You know what? Sure. Fine. No fucking way I walk through the room, imps don't spawn, or anything, and then I walk back to the room, and they're all fucking there. That's that, now that is some toxicity. Jesus Christ. Playing Tears of the Kingdom at the moment? Well, at least I know you're fighting some more balanced enemies than I am. There we go. happening. Where the fuck is the other direction? There we go. I'm not fighting these things again. I can't. I can't be bothered, bro. I just do not care enough about these uh, these enemies or this these dungeons. Like, I would, but it, it's a whole fucking area full of the worst designed enemies, bro. I can't. I can't. If the game keeps feeding me bullshit, I'm, I'm not the dung eater. I can't just put up with it. Ha. Get wrecked. Yeah, no, dude, it's just... Ugh. That's alright, though, that's alright. I don't know, how do you guys feel? Like, I feel like if something's just being unreasonable, then I'm at, yeah, I will just run past it. Which is funny, because it has to be pretty unreasonable for me to run past it, by the way. I, unironically, don't run past the enemies inside of the Dark Souls 2. Worst run back in all of Dark Souls. I don't even run through that shit. But I run through shit like this. Like, come on. How, how is it, how is this that annoying? How is this more annoying than one of the worst runbacks in all of Dark Souls history? That's my question. That's some impressively annoying game design. <laughs> Just, uh. Like, I like the pots. Like, the pots are cool, but the imps are just annoying. Like, I just, uh. Like, I don't know, man. I hate it when I go to an area and my first thought is, Ugh, I don't want to fight these enemies again. Like, because that's, like, never my thought process, you know? Like, 99% of the time, when I go through an area, I'm like, okay, cool, I made it pretty far. We'll see how far we get next time. But, like, I go to fight, like, the Zamor enemies in the ice area, or I go through certain dungeons like this where it's nothing, or there's, like, way too many fanged imps or whatever. Or the underground area. Oh, my God, the underground area? Yeah, like that. 
I just don't think... Like, the omens are cool. But when you're fighting so many omens that you literally just... There's no way for you to physically, like, keep up with it at all. It just... Uh. And, like, the omens are probably the most reasonable enemy. Like, it's okay. It's not... It's not outright disgusting or offensive or anything too crazy. But, like, the fucking imps and everything else, it, it is. You know, to go from imps to lobsters to everything else is just... It's just why, dude. Make sure you just ask questions. Like, who the fuck requested this? That and I don't want to kill the pot enemies anyways. The pot enemies are kind of homies, so I don't really want to hurt them. I'll catch up with chat in just a moment. Dude, I have no idea. What the fuck? What are you? Oh, nice. Why the hell are you poisoned? I'm so lost. All right. Just finished upgrading the entire Zora gear and got the Luminous Tights upgrade level four. Nice, nice. Need one more Fire Lizalfo's Tail to finish the Snow Quill set. I had a hard time finding those different pieces. There are people hiding in, um, and could have just shot it with a bow. I ate the, I ate the lever. Edgy lives to, uh, I told you I ate it. But yeah, I, uh, Edgy lives to make things more difficult. I mean, yes and no. That's not going to save you. you. You've already taken way too much damage to be going with that play. I'm sorry. I, I wish you stood a chance, but no. You weren't. Oh my god, we're in this dungeon! Oh, fuck. Yeah, hold up. What the hell? Yeah, I forgot we're in one of the confusing dungeons. One of the many. You know what? What is down here? Let me see. Now I want to know. I just find the lever on accident. Hype in chat? Lever on accident, though? Nice. Nice. Some way to assist my, uh, my girls. Garlic is one of the best things ever. Oh, yeah, I fucking love garlic. Garlic goes hard every single time. There is, there's very few times where I'm like, garlic? No. No, no, no. Like, there's, there's most, most situations are usually made better with garlic. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna keep it completely honest. Garlic is pretty much always a positive. Doesn't really matter what the fuck it is. Yeah, we love stumbling upon the objective. Stumbling upon the objective is just as good as completing the objective. God, that's a flashbang and a half. All right, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the uh, one area real quick and see if we can find anything else up here. Granted, we did go through all this already, but that's okay. We're gonna go through this and we're gonna go find where that one thing was where our runes are at, and then we're gonna get our runes. I actually had quite a few runes. Not that it's that integral, but I would like to get them back, yes. And I want to kill those imps, if you want to know my own. Uh, more, more honesty, I want to fucking kill those goddamn imps. But chat, but chat, we do have a fire monk to name, because we do have a new friend. Whoops. Fuck you are. But you're not, you are not hopping down on me. You bitch! I 
I found you! And you will burn for your sins! There we go, cool. Now I feel a lot better. I have been avenged! Are you dead ass just in a dead end? I was just dead ass in a fucking dead end. No, no, no. We're not dealing with a third mystery imp, all right? This is not Mystery Incorporated. This is not Imp Snide Out. Get the fuck out of here. No. Good luck. Have a nice life. I hope it ends soon. You know what? It ends right now. Thank you. Thank you. What a lovely time. I'm glad we could share this moment together. down here. Hello, Mr. Pot. I think this is the wrong way. Is it? Yeah, this is the wrong way. I need to go the other way. God damn it. Such a fucking maze! Which is the worst part, because this isn't even like the full maze dungeon, I don't think. This is just one of the catacombs that's like a maze. I mean, I will say it is amazing that they somehow made all of these into such an impressive maze. Like, I do deadass get lost in here. And I'm sure you guys probably do, too. Like, I understand that's kind of the point, but oh my god. Let me get to the boss! Yes! So what's the boss fight? What have we been waiting for? Fucking tree spirit, dude. God damn it. Randall, save me! Spirit bullshit. You know what? That's why I had that on. Get knocked down, you dumb bitch. You're done. Get him, Randall. Randall, hit him with the combo. Get him. Be the sneaky snake. Let's go, Randall Best Snake. Ulcerated Tree Spirit, I think, has nothing on our boy. He's our man. Wish I had a hot pot. <laughs> Alrighty then. Why is Randall so adorable, chat? Honestly. Like, I fucking love... I love our squad, our, like, team right now, you know? We're actually kind of getting teams that match what's going on. I will say the most themed summons right now for what we're doing, the uh, Roman, uh, Mark, and um, Randall are the most like the like properly themed. So I'll probably summon Randall and Mark the most. Norman will probably be on here like every now and then. Let me do that. Um, and then I'm probably gonna try out a fi the Fire Monk Ashes just to see how well that goes. Cause I honestly don't know how well that'll go. I'm I'm a little curious. I don't know. Do you guys think the Fire Monk uh the Fire Monk summon will go really well, or do you think it'll be kind of garbage? I g I genuinely don't know what to expect. Also, the fuck is up here? Dead end, or is it like a uh, hidden away passage? Dead end, all right. That, <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. I will turn my ass right back around. 
<laughs> Later, losers! Fuck out my way! Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold up! Wait a minute! Something ain't right. Is that a... Golem Archer? Oh no. I don't like that at all. Bro knows how to hit around corners. No way. Who taught you that? Who gave you that AI? Come on now. Cool. We're gaming. We're good. We're good. We'll go kill him and then come back and grab that. We can always come back. You will burn for your crimes, Golem! Now you really will burn for your crimes. That was a dick move. You could have shot any other time. Why is he fusing into the ground? You can't just do that! That's cheating! Why am I not healing? Oh, because I'm out. Nice. Wait, what? Fuck, why is it not equipped? You know what? I don't know what the fuck's going on. The madness playthrough is starting to get to me, chat. I, I literally am losing my fucking mind. Please just kill it. Thank you. I just don't even know what's going on anymore. Interested to see, mostly to see how how they use the fire. Right, right. Because like I said, we uh we're kind of we're here to burn everything, so fire monk might just pop off. You never really know. He's kind of beefy, and you know I'm a, I'm a little tiny, so maybe beefy boy is what we need. We got our sneaky snake, we, and we've got, and we, I mean, we, our biggest beefy boy for sure is, uh, Mark. No one's beefy like Mark. Mark is built different, all right? Mark is him. But we'll see, we'll see. Plus, we're getting close to this, this, uh, castle, which is gonna be nice. Which is kinda the whole reason why we came up here. Um, I should be able to get the castle done with before I get off stream. I would like to get the spell by the end of stream. Um, I can't. I won't guarantee that I will, but I'm going to try to. That is the objective. Nice. Oh, thank you. There should be a bonfire somewhere up here. I thought I could be wrong. I'm thinking, and you know what? That's a little dangerous. I need to chill out. Chill out with this thinking nonsense, you know? Yeah, my head's gonna fucking explode if I do that. I've got Big Spoon Fire Monk. I do. <laughs> Come on, guys. You guys already know I'm Little Spoon. Let's be real here. Let's be honest with ourselves. No lie. Plus, Big Spoon's no fun. Why would I want that? Great, are you here for... Oh, I can level them up. Nice. We're leveling up Mark, and we're leveling up Randall. And they're plus eight. So I'll try him out soon, but ooh, I don't know to level up Mark or Randall. Like, that's a difficult question, you know? It's a really difficult question. I would just level up both, but but I can't. I just can't do it. What 
what glow vort do you drop now? So you give me four, five, and six. That's really, really weird selection you got there, but all right, bro. Once again, go right ahead, I guess. I'm so glad this has such good scaling for what I'm using. 193 is pretty nice. Like, I can actually appreciate that, unironically. Um, I'll see, is there anything I'm trying to upgrade or get? No, I don't think so. One ninety five. Oh. All right, let's go further. Way, way, way up here. So it looks like you need to go to the. I need to go west. All right, so I need to go. Oh, I gotta go all the way the fuck around. It looks like. I think. Also, when you're small, you are never Big Spoon. You become Jetpack. Hey, hey, there's nothing wrong with <laughs> with, the <laughs> with the attempt, okay? The attempt is good enough. Jetpack. I've never heard that. That's beautiful. That's fucking hilarious, actually. Jet Jetpack is wild. Okay, so yeah, this honestly will probably be one of the few times, once again, I will just run to it because I do want to get at the stream and I want to go back and explore the other areas before I really start getting through this area. Because this is such a difficult fucking area. And I mean, yeah, I am getting to the level where I can't actually do this, but I want to go back and do the other areas before I'm so overleveled that it's just like, you know, borderline pointless. I remember I actually got invaded here one time, and I had a really good time, because with me getting invaded here, he happened to uh, fight me and the golem, and it was like this nice kind of back and forth of like me fighting him and the golem. I don't know, I just, I just really enjoyed it. Oh, yep, and then there's this. This is where like the open fields are at. Yeah, this is where, this is where that ice dragon is, I think. Oh, we're not trying to go to the Ice Dragon right now. We're going to go this way. Yeah. That's a whole other area, I think. Yeah, it's another area with another fucking thing to get. My god. You missed. Out of here. Yep, it's part of the short person vernacular. I still don't know if I'm considered short or not. Like, being five foot seven and a half, I don't really feel short. But sometimes people really do treat that like I'm a like I am a hobbit, you know. So I'm kind of curious, like what you guys' thoughts are. Like I know I'm taller than some of you, but I'm also definitely shorter than some of you as well. So like, what kind of like give me give me an honest honest assumption here. And mind you, I don't really want to particularly be tall anyways. So I'm just kind of curious for like, what do you guys think from it? I like that. Dude, what? It is spooky time. The bone zone is truly here. And I, I am not ready. I am not ready for the bone zone. I did not come prepared. I only wish I could open up my fucking map. This thing, was that the castle? That is the castle. Why is there a death right bird here? Dude, fuck off. No! No! God damn it, I'll kill it. Why not? You know what? Let's test him out. Come on, Fire Monk! Ow. We get knocked off the ledge. like that. Get him, Fire Monk! Fuck. 
fuck did you go? What is happening? What the hell? Where are we taking this fight to? You know what? I gotta give it to Firemonk. He doesn't have a name yet, but bro means business. the invasion. I do not want to get invaded out of this. That's not very cool. You know, Fire Monk is doing his business. Like, he's he's not, like, one-shotting him or anything, but he is... He's not dying. I take that back. Cool. I just felt, I just realized how much I don't want to fight you right now. <laughs> you know what? Crazy thing, Death Right Bird. I just realized I, I don't want to participate. Um, uh, if you're 5'5 five, five or more, you. No shoes, you're tall. At least as a female. I'm 5'3ish with shoes. I'm not super short, but I'm a bit short. Now uh, that sounds like a super short to me. I knew you were gonna come back and chat as soon as me being short was here. You're a tree. You're an ant! Alright, chat. This place is not standing a chance. Okay, you know what? Fire Monk didn't get a fair chance. Fire Monk! We can do this together. My God, you're a unit. What the fuck? Dude, me and the fire monk are kind of fucking him up right now. Okay. Dude, fuck me and Fire Monk are kind of saucing, bro, up right now. That's gonna hurt. How do you not take damage from that? My question. That's gonna kill him. Yeah, chat. Fire Monk has definitely made his place. <laughs> He's definitely found his place in my ranks. Bro is playing right now. He is playing, dare I say, with fire. <laughs> he's cooking with fire, playing with fire. He's giving out fire. Bro, he's even putting out, he's even bringing fireworks. Like, I just love this man. He has no business being this amazing right now. What the fuck? That had no reason to go that well. No reason at all to go that well. I'm an uncle. A monkey's uncle. Get Devin to name the fire monk. XD, call me Greek because I'm the el elder to a Roman. My nephew's name is Roman. Nice. Um, I don't know what to name fire monk. I, I'll, I gotta give him a name that, like, means business, though. Like, bro is for real, though. He's He is here... No, no games. Man of business. Like, that bird was just a bad example. He, he fucking means this shit. He is here and knows exactly how he feels about it. He's very angry. <laughs> he's, he's, he, he's Avatar The Last Airbender, first season Zuko. He is pissed, okay? Pissed.
Belair's gonna stand there and let this happen, aren't you? Alright, bro. Whatever, whatever really works for you, and I guess it's working for you. Please, enter the fire zone, wolves. Good job, good job. Good plays, good plays. I think the wolves are weak to fire damage, chat. I could be wrong, though. Blaze, name him Blaze. Name him Daddy Blaze. Daddy Blaze! That's wild. Just so you have to say Daddy Blaze every time you summon him. I mean, I'm down for that. Daddy Blaze. Bro is. You see his height? I mean, I think it fits. I think it fits, personally. I'm all for it. Bro's like nine foot tall. Like, I'm I am all for that name. That name fits perfectly. Fire Monk. We'll be some. We'll probably try to summon Daddy Blaze a little bit then, because Daddy Blaze is a little, little, little beefy, you know. Like he was. He does help me two v two, a fucking like the dual lions fight. All right, like that's that's some brothers in arms like, combat shit right there. Like we we literally went and fucked them up. We even. Stunned one of the one of the giant lions. Stunned, not fought. Stunned them together, which is awesome. Just impressive. Oh, okay. It's just that. I know damn well you guys are gonna just pull out some fucking crossbows. You just tried to kick my shield. Wanna kick your ass? Nice. I don't think you... What? What? Your health bar, bro. We're good. We're good. We're good. Something sharpening up here. No. That doesn't look like gravity. Yep, bro. I think we all need to chill out. I was ducked, so he missed. That's fine, I got fire powers, you got ice powers. You just couldn't handle the heat! <laughs> way too fun. This is so fucking silly. This playthrough has just been dumb. It's been so fucking dumb and enjoyable. I love naming the summons. Oh, yeah, exactly. That's a big thing about, like, you know, streaming this kind of playthrough. I feel like you guys, even though you guys aren't physically playing with me, you feel included because you guys, you guys are naming the characters. It, oh, that's where you get that shitty weapon. So if you guys are curious, one of the main weapons I'll use for the death playthrough, there it is. You just seen it. Right here. The Eclipse a Chotel. Which should go fucking terribly. This is a fun playthrough. Exactly, and that's kind of the main thing I want it to be. I want it to be a fun playthrough, you know? Like we're like there's parts where it's just vibes. But see, that's the big thing about it. With me exploring a lot and going through a bunch of different areas and doing all these different extra things, it allows me to summon the NPCs more and allow me to have more... <gasps> oh, my God. oh, my God. Ah, that's not what I wanted to use. That's not good. I thought you were going to make out with me, and you know what? I'm kind of glad that's what happened instead. Damn, I thought they... I was told their helmet is really good for the, uh... Like, it procs madness, gives you damage buff, but... You know. Whoa! 
I see. No way we're dealing with this. I'm good. I'm good. What the? F oh, yeah, you guys have the teleporting shit. Off my elevator! This is a fun playthrough. The fuck is on that blade? What the fuck are those? Yeah, these enemies are not... <laughs> they're not it right now. I mean, if you guys want me to summon him for the boss, I'll summon him for the boss. I'm all for it. I summon... Daddy Blaze! May his power be known to one and all. Daddy, no! Yes! Alright, bro. Did I just punch him? I did not just punch him. Leave him alone! You're being a dick, you know? What? So I'm fine with summoning him? But I, I can't go in there like I just did that time. There's no way in hell. There's no way in hell that works for, like, that kind of situation. No, not at all. Oh, my God. What the fuck? That was so much fucking damage. Also, there's a lot of shit in this uh, castle I don't have. What's gonna do? Get to me? You can't. Oh, well, then there's that. <laughs> His AI figured it out. Oh! We're just gonna teleport now, are we? So, teleport out of my fucking backstab. Right, you can't. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna do this. This. And then we're gonna do this. Yo! Yo! Yo, the combo! We just comboed the fuck out of him! Let's go. Get him, Daddy Blaze! That was weird and lightning for some reason. I forgot he had that. Yeah, that's not really dodgeable. What the fuck? That's different. Yo, not me and Daddy Blaze fucking him up! Nice. Yeah, bro, bring the fire, bring the heat! Yo, don't let him rest. No, we got to avenge him, chat. Bro, just flipping his leg up in the air like that. Like, bro, you're going to get some attention doing that. Damn, he didn't do the move I thought he was going to do. That's certainly not the move I thought he was going to do either.
Damn it, he missed. Straight through my shield. Nice. Damn it. Bro is standing on business. Calm down, Commander O'Neill. Or Nile. Oh, fuck off. All right, all right. Oh, bitch, we're doing moves! Why did that do so little? Let's go! All right, all right! Whew. That was a difficult fucking fight. Jesus. Sorry for, like, the no, no commentary, but... Yes, 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 I had to yes. fucking try for that. Yes. That, did, that did not come easy. Wait, the ghost fight you? I'm so lost, confused. For night, he's not very chivalrous. You're right. <laughs> yeah, these these knights are not very chivalrous at all. But that's okay. We here in the we here in the madness team don't give a fuck about chivalry. We care about how much we can burn them and how quickly. Hmm. There's something over there, isn't there? I burn these pots to oblivion! Alright then. I need to get more uh, more of these. What was that? Beast blood, blood rose. Oh, I actually have plenty, funny enough. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I need more melted mushroom too. Okay. That's what we needed. That's the whole reason we came here. The Halic Tree Secret Medallion. this? I don't, I don't think that really goes anywhere, does it? I don't think so. No. No, I'm pretty sure that doesn't go anywhere. Ooh, cold. Oh, cold. Mm. Okay, before we go up there, because we're going to have to run through some shit when we go over there to the Hallig Tree, let me... Well, I might level up a little bit here and there. Level up. Mm. Here, we'll get that to that. Because that'll be enough for us to actually hold the other weapon that we're trying to use. This one here. So we can use that now. Um, and that also should have buffed my uh, thing a little bit. It was 195, 198. Good, we're getting close to 200. Okay, and now let's explore this place just a little bit more. Um, I want to go up there to that side does require, it looks like, riding the elevator and then jumping off. I thought I died for a second there. I was I was ready for the death screen, but I was hoping it wouldn't appear. So, chat, I gotta say, I'm already very happy with uh, Daddy Blaze. And the cool thing about this as well is as I do different playthroughs, we can have different summons that are also part of the different adventures. And I feel like that's just amazing. Because even as it stands, we can do the Putrid Corpses... Uh, the putrid corpses, the rotten stray, the rats, you know, the, uh, and just like, you know, different, different things for different contexts. And I really like that. Personally. I love that feeling of different contexts and summons and everything. I hope the fuck you do.
know what? Fuck your frostbite, bro. What even just happened? <laughs> we like traded, but we didn't. Not the wolf going for the swift kill. That was that was really good for their AI. My god. What? Is that a, what the fuck is that? Is that actually an item? That's an item item. Nice. Is there like actually stuff over here then for me to grab? Did I just like not walk up here? I think I just didn't walk up here. Why the heck did I just not walk up here? It's like free loot and I just didn't grab it. Weird. They always have a bunch of different hidden pathways that are sometimes obvious, sometimes not. Blaze is wonderful. I love, I, I like Daddy Blaze. He's kind of, like I said, he's kind of killing it. But yeah, with the different uh, different things in here, we could use for different playthroughs. Um, I wanted to use Carman more, but sadly, Carman from our original playthrough, he just doesn't fit it too well, and he doesn't really. He's a little he's a little on the brain dead side. He does have one of the worst AIs I've seen, sadly. Like unironically, he has the big stupid. Not mean to do that. Sorry, puppy. Just had to die. What the hell is up here? Is there really just nothing up here? That'd be strange. Oh, there it is. This one's really nice. Nice, nice, nice. All those hard ass enemies for stones were key. Bet. Bet. Nah, I'm sure you jumped down somewhere from here, right? Yup. Exactly what you do. Think. I'm gonna say you do. I'm gonna say you do, even though I don't really know. Okay, before I go into Slug Heaven, um, I'm actually gonna pick this up and drop down into Slug Heaven. Be gone, beasts! Okay, I don't like this. Make it stop. Damn it, it's just a nascent butterfly. That's not me. Where the fuck am I, by the way? Fucking I love this already. <laughs> you know, this was such a good spell for this playthrough. I think he has a crush. Bro, Kit's gonna have to fight me for the crush then. Kit will have to fight me for Blaze's hand in marriage, I'm sorry. Blaze is too beautiful. <laughs> I've been waiting for you to burn shit again. I mean, thankfully, oh, oh, like you were waiting to do that one? I got you, I got you. I do fucking love the fire abilities in this game. The more and more I use it, the better and better it's been. Like, it is consistently just awesome. I don't know. Once again, these theme playthroughs just make the game so fun. It reminds me back when, like I said, it's bringing me back when I, re like, really got into, uh, into, um, oh, fuck, what was it? Into my, uh, into my uh, Dark Souls playthroughs. Which, you know what? I might have to do those at some point, too. Like, that would be, that would be, that could be the edgy gamer thing. That could be, like, the edgy gamer playthroughs. Themed playthroughs of, like, the different, like, you know, mages and style, like, that would, you know what? I love that. I love that. Because, like, how often do you go on YouTube and stuff and see one person doing, like, several different playthroughs on one game of incredibly different play styles. Think about that. That'd be, that would actually be awesome. We, we could actively do that. Of course, with Dark Souls 1 um, and 2, we would we kind of have to do it based off of, like magic and stuff rather than, uh, you know, endings. I mean, we could, we could do endings and magic for the Dark Souls games since, you know, they don't really... Uh, have nearly as much to go off of as Elden Ring does as far as like the endings are concerned so you can't be nearly as creative about it but you know 
nonetheless. Nonetheless. I think that'd be pretty fucking fun. I don't want to be out here. Um, Daddy Blaze's daddy, I can agree with that. A respectable daddy, but not my daddy. <laughs> Damn it, Kit. There goes my show idea. I love that idea. What do you mean, what show? I was going to call Kit versus Edgy Battle for Daddy Blaze's heart. I'm willing to do said show. Do a Dark Souls mage only run. No, Kit, too late. Alright, so what else? To, what did I just pick up? I just got a... I just got something that I don't think I've ever seen before, so we're going to go check this out real quick before I go to pick up that spell. I know the spell is the whole reason we're doing this stream right now, but I want to see what this is. But I think I know where that is. The moon, the bridge, and a bunch of pillars. So that is 100% over here. Yeah, we're just going to run over here and check this out. I'm assuming I'll have to go, like, out here in this canyon, though. Hmm. I was to say, you don't see the uh, tree in the image at all. Yeah, you see a bunch of icy trees. Because, oh, that's up top. It's going to be up top then, isn't it? It's got to be up top, because that's where the castle is. Yeah. Well, it might not be up top, but the castle's got to be within... Yup, here it is. Here it is. So we're going this way, I think. Well... castle is, and I have to be able to see it from there. I gotta be able to see it, but I also gotta be able to, like, you know, kind of be down below as well. Like, it's a weird combo. This might actually be it right here. Back here, do I need to go? Hmm. Let's see. What's that? The demi human sneaking up on me. I need the pillars. I need the pillars. Oh, this is like it right here. This looks like just about it. If not, it's like a little bit up ahead. I don't know, bro. This literally looks like it, though. Am I, just, am I at the wrong angle? Well, I guess it does look higher up in the air. Or would that be higher up in the air? How would you get up in the air, though? It's got to be somewhere where you can just see the tall pillar. Maybe I got to be on that bridge. I think I got to be on the bridge. Maybe I have to be on the bridge, because it's... Yeah, I think I got to be on that bridge right there. Let me go up on the bridge. Um... Fine, I guess I'll never be warm. <laughs> Um, hey, you have to earn the title, Daddy. is not given willy-nilly. I mean, that is true. That is very true. Oh, fucking skeleton, dude. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. No! Oh, he can't hit me. Bet. 
God damn it, is that where you get the shitty fucking ugly ass great hood? That's what you get from there? That's fucking stupid. I went through all that trouble for what? Nothing! Nothing! Alright. I'm inside two blankets, a winter hat, a sweater, and I'm still kind of chilly. Me too. Same. Same? Um, cuddle your cat. I'm at work. She's cuddled up my bed. Bed warmer. Heart only belongs to Edgy, then cuddle your cat. I need a heated blanket, then a weighted blanket to trap the heat in and make it a furnace. Also, to crush my soul back in my body. Weight blanket. They are lovely. Yeah, I, I have heard that, like, weighted blankets are really fucking comfy. Hallig tree. Ran the left. Hoist. Secret medallion. Ooh. Secret medallion. What could that possibly mean? <laughs> Sorry, fixing something real quick. God, that looks so weird. That, I'm trying to see how my uh, makeup looked in like, my pictures today to see uh, if I want to do it again. I don't know, it looks way better on stream than it does in person. I like my red teeth. I don't really look good in person or on stream, now does it? Mm. Oh, they were nice. Then I got one, we'll never go back. The way to blanket it is a game changer. I shall sell it once more, you shall finally be warm. Go. You will finally be warm cold. What? I mean, that's probably the only time to really buy anything fancy is on, like, Black Friday. Because, like, when the fuck is anything affordable nowadays? Nothing is even slightly okay pricing. Unless you buy it on, like, Black Friday. Hidden path to Halleck Tree. Dun, dun. Ah! All right, all right. Once again, we're gonna kind of run through this real quick just to get there. I don't know, maybe, maybe. I know this is a really big ass dungeon, so. Yeah, you know what? I will just run through here to grab that fucking thing. Just gotta remember where the fuck to walk. Right, so there's there. That's not really helping nobody now, is it? Nope, I didn't fall. We're good, we're good. Cool. You know what? Ballsy sounds like the only way I'm gonna figure this out. Thank you for the hero's rune. Hello and goodbye. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Not. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Wait, hold up. There's another pathway. We're good. We're saved. We're saved. We're saved. Where to go? Where to go? Anywhere but here, I guess. I'm assuming the ele the uh, levers up here. That would just make sense. God. Wow. Plus two? Pretty metal. Oh, nice. So we don't have to fight the boss. Bet. Enjoy my soul. Kit now is the proud owner of my soul. I thought you said you didn't have a soul, Izzy. I thought we had this conversation. Nope. Nothing up here. Ah, Dark Souls 2 memories. Well, chat, we're actually very, very, very close to this battle now. The only problem is we do end up going near some absolutely terrifying monstrosities to get it. That's really the only issue. Like that. OK, 
Okay, so that's where you get the Black Knight set. This is that. Fuck. I believe it's over this way. Oh, we can go ahead and get the map. Perfect. Yeah, we're going to go get the map first. Plus, yeah, I was going to say, we're not even quite at the area we need to be anyways. Yeah, because that's where the Knight Cavalry is at. We're actually going to go right here, never mind. Because this is exactly what we're looking for. I think there's like an Ice Rune Bear right around here. I don't really want to fuck with that, personally speaking. But I do want to get the uh, Unendurable Frenzy, so. The Yellow Anix Ruins. My brethren, my brethren, I will come back to see you another time. Another time, another time. Truly wonderful to see you, but on the other hand, I also really fucking don't want to see you. Where the hell are, is my stuff? Ah, here it is, right? Nope. Well, alrighty then. Not at all what I'm looking for. One of these buildings is it in? It's in one of these buildings. I hope I don't have to kill a troll for it, because that would that in itself would be a troll. God, what? Okay, it's probably down in here. Educated guess, down here. Come on! Is that the best frenzy spell in the game that I see? My god, it just might be. Let's fucking go, bro. Let's fucking go. Well, alrighty then. We shall go to, uh, I believe, Nokron then, right? Yeah, probably Nokron. Is there any other quests we really want to do right now? Uh, we got Kenneth, all this other stuff. Yeah, I don't think there's really anything too crazy right this second we want to go do. So yeah, we're going to go explore Nokron. Make for great fashion. I might go grab it later. I just wanted to grab this for now. So we can probably get rid of Catch Flame, to be honest. God. Damn! That is good to see. That's that is good to see. Well, so like I would wear it, but I don't. I don't. Uh, I'll I'll probably wear some stuff that's kind of uh, relative to what we're doing right now. I kind of want to get some fire monk gloves or something, to be honest with you, or some other heavier armor. But I'm not too sure quite yet. Um, but while I'm doing this, I'll actually, I'll probably do the invasion thing. Oh, no, no, not nearby, not nearby. I'm not gonna be able to invade anybody nearby that isn't just fucking farming. Thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Alright. So. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and head down this way. We need to go find the crater, which is hilariously enough just right fucking here. You can actually see the crater pretty easily from this side, but I think you have to go to the other side to actually go down it properly, I think. Which I don't fully remember. Can you go down it from the side? Maybe? No, I guess you technically can. Yeah, you just have to go around. You have to go down and then and then around, so. That'll work. That's good enough. Well, I know, but I'm saying, like, I want to, um, I wore that li my first ever playthrough, so I don't want to just wear the same uh, outfits every playthrough, you know? Like, I don't mind wearing similar outfits, but I don't want to wear the, uh, like, overly similar outfits, you know? is this guy even at? Oh, I hear him. Nice. 
nice. Okay. Really? Ah, oh, we're doing this. Oh well. Ah, oh, it's people just ganking to get invader kills. Alright then. I don't know. I feel like if you're gonna, like, if you want to go through the game, just go through the game. You know? I feel like it's really dumb to just sit there and kill people that are invading. Like, sure, maybe you hate invaders, but, like, why waste your time? You know? Why waste your time fighting invaders? If you don't like invaders, just play offline. Or, I don't know, play a different fucking game. You don't have to play this game. The boots look better. Now this is unlikely to be just a gang squad, so I can live with this. I also don't feel very nice in here, being, to be honest, because this is kind of a dick move. Oh! You know, at least it wasn't a one-shot build. I mean, I will just wait here. I don't mind. Really, really with the one shot twin blade builds? Come on, do literally anything. Go ahead. Go right ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do your jump attack build. Oh, too scared for it, are we? Huh? Y'all, it's alright. Come on, bro, do it. It's not that hard. It's just one move. I believe in you. Go right ahead. I'll just sit here all day. I don't care. Burns are not, you're just burning through all your FP, my guy. That's fine. Ooh, nice one. Nice one. Go for it again. Go for it again. Yeah, I'm not playing with that fucking spell. That spell is just a dick move. That's fine. I'll just go around. I'll go around and get him. It shall be the biggest challenge, the best reward. What? I'm so confused. What are we talking about? Oh, the soul. Well, I'm working on taking these dumbasses' souls, but... Oh my god, no. This is just where uh, Fuckface is at. That's not doing me any good. Not doing me any good at all. Rebecca, I'm sorry. Fucking what now? Really? What? How <laughs> the fuck did you die? Alright, bro. Whatever. Uh, whatever. Yeah, I will say it is a little annoying that every invasion has to be me be like a 1v3, but mm, I don't know. Once again, I'm just trying to participate in a way that's even slightly interesting. I probably won't do too more too many more invasions. I'll probably just put my summon sign down for co-op. Like I said, I just don't really like invasions unless it's Dark Souls 2. Like it I kind of want to enjoy it in this game, but it's like back and forth. Like, yes, sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's not. This game is very much 50-50.
the biggest issue by far is the only way for this game to be even half decent at invasions is if the fucking game, if in, the enemies are, they have to be going through a really difficult area. Like, they have to be. There's no other way. If they're not going through an extremely difficult area, there's no fucking reason to invade. Because there's no reason for you to sit here and do like a 1v3, you know? And then just playing the waiting game of them sitting there waiting to see who's going to be less patient first. Like, honestly, I think for now on when I see that, I'll just leave. It, cause it's just, it's boring, you know? Like, it's just boring. Like this. This is going to be fucking terrible, too. I like this person. I think this person's outside of the map for some fucking reason. Whatever. Uh, I might do the taunter's tongue. I am a ma I am a mad person after all. Why not? Having someone invade my world would probably be funner. As much as I l I like fighting people with the AIs on my team, I feel like that'd be pretty fun. It is pretty infuriating that it's going to just be, you know. Fire giant invasion? Not even a thing? I don't, know, I don't even know what you mean by a fire giant invasion. I'm so confused. Yeah, I'll, I'll go for a couple invasions. I've invaded during the fire giant boss before and it's fun. That's interesting. I feel like that's hella annoying though. I think they're actually going forward, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I do think they are going forward. That's way too far. They're just going to get into the boss room. <laughs> They're literally just going to get in the boss room and fuck up the boss. Oh, I did my best. What's his name? What is bro's name? Where the fuck did my stamina go? I guess it takes a lot of stamina then. How did both of them not get hit? Where did my roll go? Oh well. I'm not even gonna ask. I'm not even gonna ask. I, I think I'm starting to like just not. Yeah, I'll probably just set my sign down for uh, PVE. I don't mind getting someone for co-op instead. Actually, well, I want to actually get to Nocron, so that's what we'll do. We'll do fucking Taunter's Tongue then. Why can't I use that? Whatever. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. As much as I am enjoying the Madness playthrough for the entire game, I just don't think I can get myself to get into the PvP. Like, even when I did my first playthrough, I did a little bit, but... No, honestly, unless it's Dark Souls 2 PvP, I'm probably not going to be too much into uh, FromSoft PvP, to be honest. I don't know why. It's That's the only one I was able ever to, like, really, really enjoy. Like, I enjoyed the arena and stuff a little bit, but... Mm. It's all good, though. I don't mind. That, I felt like the invasion system in Dark Souls 2 was way funner as well. No, and I'm talking about I'm not talking about the uh fucking oh, what the hell is it? The uh the Oh my god, I can't remember. 
I'm not talking about the soul memory system. I'm just talking about, like, the way that invasions worked in that game. As in, like, anybody could be invaded at any time. I feel like that just really... I don't know. I think it made the experience better for me. Like, both getting invaded and invading people, I felt like it made the... It just made it a lot more lively. Like, I didn't feel like I was just invading people that were literally trying to be invaded, you know? Or, like, a lot of the time where it's, like, me trying to fight four people at one time. That was, like, a lot of Dark Souls 3. And I feel like the, the more you invade and have to fight, like, five people at one fucking time, the more it just encourages people to make one-shot builds for everything. And I don't know. Like I said, I feel like invading with a one-shot build just takes a lot of the fun of invading out. Because then you're not really being an invader. You're just being, like, a fucking trap inside of Sin's Fortress at that point. So... I am probably in the severe minority for invasions, though. I'm very pro-invader and invasions. Like, I love being invaded. And I love the fighting. And I love the PvE slash PvP. But I just do not like a lot of, like, most of what's going on around it, you know? Like, I don't like a lot of the people that invade because they're all usually, like, one-shot build pieces of shit. And I don't like the people that get invaded because they're all ganking losers that refuse to fucking play the game. They want to sit there and farm for souls off of people. And they usually play like shit and just have an overpowered weapon or whatever or spell. It, it, it's kind of, it just goes back and forth and just ruins the experience one way or another, you know? But like for me, whenever I get invaded, I don't slow the fuck down. I, I fucking walk on through the area. Because like, I feel like the invader is supposed to be part of the, part of the experience, you know? Supposed to add fun to the experience. Holy shit. That's definitely an a uh, a crowd here. It is certainly inefficient. It'll it is a it is a I'm gonna fucking kill everything in this room ability is what it is. If everything needs to die, I know what to use. Oh hi. I mean, I don't mind you running to the enemies. Hear me yell! Oof. Why is the sound all fucked up? with the invader. I'm just going to finish him off. Ooh, that's a good spell, too. Yeah, I'm not just going to finish him off immediately. I'm actually going to fight him with the enemies, you know? Okay, the arrows are kind of toxic. There we go. Nice. See, like, I'm respecting the invader, but also not just going for him the whole time. Also, I like how Bro actually has a build. Really? Like, I feel like I'm actually fighting somebody. Like, already, this is so much more entertaining than what I was just doing. Come back here, you fool! Bear witness to the true madness! Alright. <laughs> Yeah, it's like I, I get to explore an area with a little bit of extra spice, you know? And if he kills me, he kills me.
Like, it just makes the experience so much more fun for me and him if I'm actually playing the game. I'm sure, uh, it's really rare for me not to be wholesome. I mean, that's fair. You're wholesome 24-7. It looked like you had fun being invaded in Demon Souls. Um, yes and no. Like, I don't think I got an invade. I don't think I got invaded enough in Demon Souls to really like enjoy it. And I think the reason I enjoyed being invaded in Demon Souls is because both me and the other dude were shit. Like, we were both terrible at the game, so it was fucking hilarious. Yeah, like, I have no issue with the invader running back into the uh, AIs, because I feel like that's part of it. Like, I have more heals than he does. He has the AIs. Like, even if he's hiding behind a Crucible Knight, that's part of the fun. Normally, I would just fight the Crucible Knight. Now, I fight the Crucible Knight and him. And that's what I like about it. Like, I genuinely find that fun. I will say it's interesting that uh, Bro is not... I'll say he's not really... Don't worry, I'm coming that way. I'm not camping you out or nothing. I'm just clearing out the enemies. is our wholesome shorty. I agree. Dude, Marvel tier always looks so fucking nasty. Burn, you fools! Burn with the rest of your pathetic world. There we go. Honestly, now that I think about it, my, uh, Well, see, my death playthrough, I want to make it into, like, faith build, but it seems like a lot of the destined death stuff is faith, you know? Like, the Eclipse Showtel that does death blight, and then the, the death blight stuff, and then the destined death stuff seems to be faith-related, so I just don't know. Like, I don't know. That one's going to have to be really thought on for quite some time. I'll say I could do the death bird stuff. That is true. And let me see here. Is the death bird stuff like intellect? Yeah, and see that, see that splits me right down the middle again because the death bird stuff uses. Um, I think that's intellect, I believe. Yes, yeah, that's intellect. I think. Do I have it in here? Where's it at? Well, I guess I don't have it, but yeah. The Death Poker, I believe, is intellect. Oh, I need to heal. Oh, nice. Stake America. I wonder where Bro's hiding. Might have, he might have me. Hold up, hold up. Bro's kind of cooking. Fuck, those are slime there. Oh, he got me with that. Nice. I'll say he shouldn't have gone for the third one. Come here, invader. Give me a hug. Ooh, he almost got me. Come on, push me, push me. No. <laughs> Aw. Oh, well. I had fun, though. I had fun with him. He, ma I had a good time. I don't blame him. He, don't he probably doesn't want to lose his stuff, so... I had a good time nonetheless. I would like the rune arc, but it can't be helped. Um, hell, you can also use the black knife and its destined death. Could you also make a mage build with de uh, with with death sorceries? 
in one fast sled. Yeah, also welcome in one fast sled. Didn't know you uh, popped in. I, I didn't. It took me a moment to realize it. Strike the enemies, coward. Yeah, see, like that. Now you know what, chat. That is a great example of what I like invasions to be. How the fuck is it profanity filter, coward? And yay, thanks, Izzy. There shouldn't be a profanity filter, I wouldn't think. Fool! You've already Betrayal. lost! <laughs> you do not know who you fight! You poor bastard! For I am beyond your power! <laughs> <laughs> He's pulling his car down! Oh my god. Myself, I'm gonna die. <laughs> uh, come give me a hug. You fool! You cannot burn as bright as the true madman. <laughs> Holy fuck, that was beautiful. I loved every second of that. I could not have asked for it to be better. Time to fight the ultimate boss, Edgy Gamer. I know Edgy Gamer thinks he can do it, but he just can't. That's you, Kit. I can see it. Edgy Gamer has been defeated. Edgy Gamer just didn't have it in him. He was not truly mad enough. He was too sane. I don't want to walk off the sledge game. No matter how badly you want me to walk off the sledge, I do not want to do it. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just not happening. There we go. You know what? I might summon Roman. We've not summoned Roman in a while, and I think that'd be pretty fun. Like, Roman's kind of shitty, but, you know, Roman does his best, and I, that's really all I can ask. Like, Roman is absolute dog shit, but, but he's trying, you know? I always get the fucking profanity filter. Is it, is it only on me seeing stuff? That's some bullshit. Oh, like, people, wait, you, like, you just can't see pe when people curse? Because that's pretty fucking dumb. You're too wholesome, Kit. You can't see curse words. Those those naughty curse words. I'm gonna do this real quick. You didn't hear anything. Stop what we were doing and go back to this. Thank you, thank you. Much much appreciated. Alrighty then. What is this direction? Oh wait, we went this direction with Dylan not too long ago. I remember what's here. This is uh it's actually towards Nokron. Even though I've not done we didn't actually go into Nokron funny enough. Well, here, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna tell you my song real quick. And then I'm gonna fuck up your friends real quick as well. Get absolutely bodied! What? No way. You know what? Your turn. You're all done. This is fucking unfair. Headshot. Triple kill. Who's ready for Norman? Everybody loves Norman. Norman even loves Norman. No, he doesn't. Norman hates Norman. Norman hates himself, but he's here. Look at that face. That's the face of a winner. Look at him go. Look at him go. Get him, Norman. Lead the way. Oh, he wants to go this way. Okay, Norman, we're going this way. Oh, wait, wait. What, what are we doing? 
one can only truly hope to know the genius that is Norman. We get Edgy Gamer this playthrough? Nah, bro, we got Norman. Norman's the true mad lad. Look at him. Look at him go! Come on, Norman. I mean, they, they said he's mad. They didn't say he's bloodthirsty. He's he's patient. He's he's revelish, He's reveling in his eventual kill, you know? All right, here, let me, let me encourage him a little bit. He usually needs at least a little bit of encouragement. Oh, goodness. Norman, I need some help! Let's go, Norman! Let's go, Norman! Norman casually bodying, let's go. Love our guy. Yes! The edgy Norman combo. I'm loving this. More than I probably should. But you know what? Go right ahead. Look, look what good that did you. Norman, no! Well, I loved him while he was here. He's really bad at everything, but I love him the same. He may be absolutely terrible at his job, but I love him all the same. I could never replace him. He's mad, not to the point of angry or pissed. Just mad. He's he's, he's just a little. A he's just he's just mad. <laughs> Kit, sing for us. Sing for us. Out, sing their song. Norman went back to see his wife. Norman has a wife. Rose got game. Oh yeah, I had no idea Norman was like that. I didn't know Norman, Norman was like that. It's kind of it's kind of fire. That's not very cool. That's not very cash money, Mr. Wolf. You know what? I actually do a lot of damage. That did a lot of voice damage, actually. <sighs> Thanks. Nice. You don't want to, I don't know, fight me? Well, I guess it had to happen to something. There we go. I actually can't remember. Isn't all that's over here is one of the things to light? Like, it's literally just a thing that I need to light over here. Next to all the pretty, pretty flowers. <coughs> Goodness. Norman is married to a, a feisty redhead. Melania, I believe her name was. She lives in some big-ass tree. Oh my god, don't make me get to Melania and then summon Norman for it. Don't, don't you dare. <laughs> don't you dare make me get there and summon poor Norman to get beat up by his abusive wife. <laughs> oh my god. You know what, that part of his lore now, I'm writing it down. I'm writing it down. Melania, there we do go. It. Married to Melania. Just do it. Hey, re redhead is where it's at. Indeed, indeed. I definitely didn't say it because my hair is red. <laughs> oh boy. You know what? I love that Norman. Or sorry, Roman. I keep calling him Norman. God damn it, Roman! 
No, I keep calling him Norman for some reason. Nor <laughs> Norman, Roman, same thing. But Roman, um, he, you know, I would I would probably look like that too if I was married to Melania. Uh, that's that's fair. Like, can we blame Roman for looking as tired as he does? He has to put up with that woman's shit all the time? Come on now. Like, imagine going home, instead of getting yelled at, you catch cancer. Like, I couldn't imagine, bro. That's that's just scary. <laughs> you don't go home to an argument. You go home to a new disease. You know what's crazy? He doesn't even complain. He's just that much of a great guy. Roman Lily just accepts her as she is. My god. We all strive to be like Roman. Accepting his wife as she is. Cursed, rotted, you know, missing a couple limbs. Like I said, horribly abusive. Literally stealing the life out of him. I'm gonna die. Yup. Bet. Bet! Love to see it. Love to see it! Edgy Norman likes it when his wife beats him. He's kinky like that. That is pretty wild. Feisty. Sometimes. Wait, what? Why am I all the way over here? All right. Fuck your wildlife, by the way. I did not like that one up there for some reason. I killed all of them. Didn't do it, though. Ah, uh, yeah, here, let me go ahead. Use my rune up real quick. I got 20. That's not too low yet. I'll start worrying about it when I get to 15. Once I get to 15, I'll probably start saying it's like low enough for me to be concerned. You know, right now it's not low enough yet. Well, I was able to summon there. What? Weird. Weird. Clumsy Smurf is the best Smurf. Favorite Smurf. Old cartoon of the old movies. Gotta have some chaos. I mean, yeah, you do have to have some chaos, I guess, at some point. It's just, I'm already a mess. I, I try not to have anybody else make the mess worse. <laughs> I'm trying not to have anything amplify the mess that I'm already part of. You know, I was supposed to just go grab that spell and then be good for the night, but I'm having too much fun. We're still here. We're still just vibing. We're <laughs> the lore of Roman is still expanding. All right, you forced my hand. Yep, just had to be, I'm sorry. Keep on streaming, it's fun, right? Like, I... Yeah, it's only 3.28 a.m. It's not too bad. I mean, technically speaking, for, like, the amount that I stream usually, that's pretty fucking late. But, uh... I got off really early last night because of my migraine, and I don't have a migraine today, and I wanted to play this a lot last night, so we're going to keep playing. And the more I play, the more Roman's backstory gets fleshed out. So far, we have Roman being married to Melania, all right? Which is pretty insane. That's, that's, that's pretty baller. I'll take pocket kit as a compliment. Pocket kit, that's... <laughs> Alrighty then. <clears throat> Roman! Get him, Roman! Get him with the sauce! You're goaded! You're goaded! Get him! Let's go. <laughs> Holy shit! Roman. Hey, get him! Get him! 
Yo! Let's go. Hear it for Roman. Can we get some hype in chat for Roman? He's him. Like, I just love him. <laughs> Wait, is there still another enemy to fight over here? Is your bloodthirst not quenched yet, Roman? What do you see? Insert Eye of the Tiger. Insert Eye of the Tiger as Roman takes on the world. No, there's nothing else over here. That sucks. The gangbangers actually visit Radagon for poker every weekend. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. And then the fucking uh, edgy sound nerd idea. That's why he's the goat. The goat! Yeah, I might add that one to the stream. Why not? Let me, um... I might get up to use the bathroom here in a minute. To be honest with you, I really have to use the bathroom. Let's see. Is there anything else in here that I want to do? Well, here, while I'm going through this area, we'll actually see if we can help anybody. If there's anybody who wants the help of an insane person, you know? You never really know. Sometimes people want help from insanity. Knight's Sacred Ground. Ooh. Rejuvenating boluses. That doesn't sound very good. I am already being summoned. That was fucking fast. My god. I took all of ten fucking steps in the knock. <laughs> I'm a madman, what can I say? So I gotta look up, what is that helmet that I'm trying to get here? You guys said buffs madness stuff. Let me see here. Elden Ring Armor. Helms. There's a certain helmet that we said gives me something special, but I can't remember what it was. Was it Black Dumpling? Yeah, where uses attack power when the wear wearer suffers from madness. That's interesting. Um, after you suffer madness, it boosts all damage by 10%. Huh. Really? I might actually go get that then. That'd be pretty cool. I don't know where you want me to go, bro. <laughs> where do you want where do you want to go? What direction are we going? You're the leader. I'm simply doing my best to help. <gasps> no, it's a strong noodle! I will get you! Hey. Oh. Oh, okay. Are we fighting him? Okay. I wonder if he wants to fight me seeing me parry this thing. I think the invader can tell that I'm not like trying to be a dick, so he's just not even attacking me. I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that he sees my chill vibes. an eventful fucking summon. Got a couple of spares if you want one of mine. I might actually go grab one real quick out of curiosity. Um if you want if you want to one fast sled you can't you can. 
I'm just gonna go see if I can get one real quick. Yeah, here. If you want to, I will be at, let's see here, because where do they spawn at? Prison Town Church, I think. Yeah, I'll probably go kill a couple of them, see if they drop it real quick. And, uh, no, not here. Um, it is, no, not there. No. I think it would be, yes, I believe that would be the one. I can't remember. It's something, it's like a really dark room. Yep, it's this one. But yeah, I'm probably going to kill them real quick, and, uh, if they drop something, they drop it. If they don't, then, uh, yeah, you can, uh, 100%, 100%. If you'd like to. Especially because I want to see how well it would work, and I also kind of want to see what it would look like. So, yeah, please do summon them all to me, actually. You are not what I wanted summoned to me. You know what? While I'm fighting them, because this is a lower level area, let me try the other weapon. Let me try out my other weapon. Yeah, a little bit of a heavy load. I'll put on my... Was it Travelers? Was it Confessor? There we go. Oh, it's also heavy load. Damn, really? There we go. Be gone! Holy damage! That's a lot. That is a lot. Yeah, no problem, man. Well, here, if you want to, if you want to go ahead and just go to the guest hall, you can let me know when you're at the guest hall. And I'll probably summon you in for it. Why not? Um... What? What did I fucking miss? Fuck auto corporate, my stupid frozen fingers. Auto corporates make our life hard. This bitch. XD. Banging on his chest. Bang, bang, gorilla. Hit, sit on your hands. No. Roman is probably banging on his wife. Zing. Sitting on your, sitting on your hands will warm them up. I mean, get it, Roman. <laughs> uh, it's no fun to just, just be handed something. Oh yeah, I can uh, just stick them in my bra if I need to. It works much better more fun to get an item for the first time on your own. I don't have boobs, so I can't do that. I just sit on them if they're cold. Do they... Do, do boobs produce, produce that much, like, body heat? Uh, obviously, once again, I don't have them either, so I have no idea as well. Does it, like, actually produce that much more heat? Yeah, it's a grab attack waiting to happen. Wide ass arc. Yeah, and I imagine it's probably a really rare drop as well, which is probably what doesn't help with help it, you know? It's probably a really rare drop. Yeah, tits are the best. <laughs> Back pain and literal sleeping death trap, but they're still best. How are they a death trap? What's up, gamers? Welcome in, Seppuku Forever. Similar uh, concept of sticking them into your armpit, said you gamer. If I lay down and it's inclined backwards, they can suffocate me. Oh, I'm kind of bigger chested. That sounds dangerous. It is. Not so much as they produce a lot of heat, more just surrounding cold uh, digital digitals with surrounding pro uh, something producing heat. Yes, they are warm. Body keeps its core warm. Tits are at your core. I mean, yeah, I guess that makes sense. My body just, the whole thing stays cold, so, like, I just... I like this weapon, but... Yep. Why'd you alert them of my presence? You fool, you doomed us all!
Okay. Now, let me go over here. Oh, you know what? I can finally do that last invasion and then go fight Rykard. I completely forgot that we need to kill Rykard. Well, I do have the God Slaying Sword, so I could... Oh, we'll see... Man, that was not a, I mean, that was a good trade for me technically, but I'm not, I'm gonna go ahead and say the honest opinion and say I don't really want to do that trade. Um, damn it, why don't I have tits, lol? Thank you, man. You can see if someone will let you borrow theirs. Apparently important conversation, I just say, say ass is better. What? Hey, I've done it before. Yes, excuse me, my my lady, my hands are cold. May you warm them with your titties. I'm sure that'll go well, kid. <sighs> hey, if you've never gotten to go <laughs> you haven't gotten a restraining order yet, so maybe it'll work. You never know. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was ah, that's that's what that does. I see. So that doesn't increase drop drop rates. I thought it did, but I guess that's the Lindstone Scarab. That would be why. I don't have the one that increases drop rate for stuff. And nope, I got the rune one. That. That. Come on, you Albanoric monsters! Chase me! God, these, these things need to not. Honestly, they need to just not be themselves. Now they say be yourself, please stop. Don't, don't take that advice. Be literally anything else. No, really? We're still just not getting anything. Hmm. I want to see what it would look like when I wore it, to be honest with you. But yeah, one fast slit. It's down. Fuck yeah. Here, let me go ahead and multiplayer. Whoops. What the fuck did I just do? Oh, I need to use that anyways. Oh, well, that didn't work. Well, nice. See how well that went. Um, Settings. Oh my god, I can't remember what it is. Um, here, just do the password is 7. Because I can't remember what the password is on my other character, so yeah. If you want to, just do the password is 7 and I'll pick it up. Besties with, uh, the best, uh, besties with no chesties go out, uh, go out looking cute. It end up freezing, not gonna lie, it is smooth move when hitting on other ladies. Weirdly enough, I don't want to get slapped and called a perv. It's down, lol kit. Hey, females are pretty. They are very pretty. If I had a girlfriend, I'd ask her, but I, I don't see that happening anytime soon. But yeah, no, I'll just do the uh, I'll just do the password seven. Um plus I gotta use the bathroom, so I will be right back. And while I'm gone. Um, what's like an armor set or armor piece in Elden Ring that you really, really like? And if you don't like, if you don't have Elden Ring, what's an armor piece from a game you play that you really like? And why?
people aren't going to do that. They're going to be like, oh, well, no, we're going to pick um, a Disney movie. Like, the fuck? Also, you probably have to set your uh, duelist sign down, by the way. Actually, wait, no, I didn't kill the boss here yet. See, I should be able to summon you either way. Um, I don't see your uh, sign, but I also probably didn't use the uh, finger curling thing. Oh, no, I did. I did. Did you change your password to 7-1 fast sled? Why? Oh, that's just because I put it on. It's, it's what I usually have it on. The only reason I named it Made Edgy for that one time was uh, simply just as a, oh, you can't see it because my camera's in the way. I feel like a fucking idiot. I feel like a fucking idiot. I left it there so you could see what I had it down as. Um, a mole man? What? Is he got to work on it? You're, fu you're funny. That counts for a ton. A lot of females want a personality. That is true. I will. I will. I will agree with that. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm a loser, but a badass one. Yes, and... Them boys are pretty, and I like the Crucible Knight armor. The Crucible Knight armor is pretty badass, I won't lie. Yeah, the Crucible Knight armor is fucking awesome looking. I agree. I very much agree. By the friend zone, you gotta be deep in the friend zone to become serious dating. There we go, and if you want to, we can uh, duel after you uh, set it down. Here. I think you're actually wearing some of the Crucible Knight armor, aren't you? Here, is there uh, is there any like equipment or anything you'd like me to drop you? Like anything unique to your playthrough? Would you like the uh, Bolt of Grand Sacks or anything so you can get two? Maybe a bow or a. S Would you like any of the uh, other seals so you can so you can have two seals for double stacking? Because you said you like the golden order, so I don't know if you'd like to use the uh, stuff to boost the seals and stuff. Really, you don't have a favorite armor set, Elden Ring? This tune is on New Game Plus 4. Oh, okay. Well, hey, that's alright. <laughs> we can duel and you can whoop my ass. That's okay. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. See so here. Well, I am ready when you are. Ooh, oral decoy. I wonder, does that work on this? Nope, you can't jump over that. Woo! Why the fuck is the snake here? God damn it, snake. Are you good? You keep like getting stiffy when I hit you. Oh my goodness. We are, we are everywhere find us is probably one of the more terrifying things I've heard said. Oh, it's that weapon. That's good. That's really good. It actually went pretty fast, too. I thought you had to charge that up, but no, it actually just let you land it. I don't know if that's guaranteed, though. Does it? Do, is it like a guaranteed combo to R1 into L2? Or is that, or is that just bad rolling on my part? 
out of curiosity. Because I do know that weapon, and that weapon is pretty fucking fantastic. Okay, so it's it's something you don't have to charge. Nice, nice. I also haven't gone to the Shaded Castle yet, so we mark that. We mark that. Let me mark that. Mark here, because I didn't do any explore exploration there. And now let's go back to Knockron Eternal City. It's not a true call, but the timing is tight as hell. <laughs> hell. Ugh. Fuck yeah, man. I honestly think that's pretty cool, though. One of the cool things, it's not quite guaranteed, but definitely, like, you know, you can catch someone with it if they're not paying attention. Well, I will do that while I go forward in my world. Um, I'll probably go a little bit further forward. I don't think I want to stay up pa too much past 4. Um, just for the sake of, I do work at 3.30 tomorrow. And I don't want to wake up t super late. I do have to, you know, take my shower and everything. Which does take a little bit of time. Oh, nice. Got a Runark replacement. Thank you, game. They are very, very not resistant to madness. Nope. Oh, I'm going to love this area. We're going to love this area. Well, let's see what this uh, one, one item looks like. No, I would wear it, but this looks fucking silly. I wonder how much more damage I do with it, though. Like, how much, what's my max damage possible, I wonder. Actually, here, first off, let's get rid of... So I do 511 normally, right? So with this and Halish and Riri, I do 702! Fuck! That's a little silly. That's fucking hilariously powerful. My god. Really? 702. That is that is downright evil for stats. Dude, like that is disgusting. Um, I still go up. You young have a whole heck of a lot of time to find. I'm always down for a duel if you want 1v1s. I like PvP, but despise ganks. You don't want your future partner to give up on you, so don't give up on them. I'll come and smack the shit out of you and knock some sense into you. Um, all damage by 10% for a minute. And as an exaltation, it stacks with everything. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, that's fucking crazy, man. Yeah, because the normal howl just puts me at what? 638, so that adds another fucking hundred onto it, so it's definitely something. I'll think about it, I'll think about it. For now it's kind of whatever, but I'll I might change my mind. We'll see. I think I still think like, you know, for a playthrough I have black and red lipstick all over this can, dude. Is my lipstick coming off really bad or? No, not really. It still looks like it's on there. It looks like a fucking mess, but it's on there. Hey! It's like a fucking two-year-old. Ah! Ah! Valerie Solanus. All right, we going this way or? Nope, okay. I am the worst person in the game to summon in this area, by the way. You were... Okay. Oh. 
KO. I gotta give it to him, that was efficient. Well, I appreciate it, one fast sled. I genuinely do. But the, um... I do apologize if I don't use it too much, but... Pretty cool, though. It is something that I think is awesome. And effective, but... Sadly, the, uh, I do like the... I do like stuff to look cooler than I do care about it being effective. But I've always been like that, so... I like it. To, I like to look cool and be effective. You know, I've never been one to sacrifice uh, the looks of the character for just a little. Like, well, I won't say a little bit. Ten percent is a big ass buff, but you know, for a buff, like maybe if it fit any type of the like any of the armor I wanted to wear, sure. But I just feel like that looks silly with everything. Like, I was going to see if it was maybe smaller, but since it's so fucking large, it's just not going to work with anything, like, visually speaking. No, not that. Any place where I can summon a friend? Oh, what's in here? Actually, I don't know what's in here. I also just got the Great Hood as well. I didn't actually look to see what that gives. Increases intelligence and faith to the detriment of HP. Oh, nice. You know the exaltation effect, Devin? But do you know what I'm talking about? The, uh, the talismans that give you buffs to your damage for proccing poison or bleed. So, they actually have that for madness as well. And we'll see, but the other ones are talismans. This one's a helmet, which is interesting. But it only works if you do it on yourself, which is hilarious, by the way. I love that. I, di I didn't know that, actually. So I, uh, I was looking at it, and I was like, I just feel so mad. I'm so mad that this helmet looks so fucking stupid. Because if it didn't, guess what I would 100% fucking use? Because, like, you know, the whole point of my Madness build is I'm supposed to have these cursed... I know. I'm supposed to have, like, these cursed eyes and everything. So I have them kind of covered up. But if... Uh, not in his world, but in my world, you can see the, like, burning orange eye uh, from, my, from my front. So, I don't want to wear... But, like... The, like, it's, it's supposed to be menacing, but, like... Actually, I'm in someone else's world. I probably shouldn't use Shabriri as well. And that would be why. <laughs> How Shabriri. So instead, we'll light the world on fire. Including myself. Come and give me a hug. Sus is dying. Not the double, really. Really, dude? What the fuck is this? Also, how am I healing right now? Who is healing me? That's gonna hit me! Yup. I had no way to dodge either. I was committed. But I did have a bubble tier on, so we're good. Hit him with the classic!
fuck am I missing in chat? What the hell? It's him, the man, Edgy Gamer! I'm so confused. Bleed and Poison also uh, as Helmet. Really? I did not know that. 14 versus 18, 18 versus 22, age gap when younger makes a difference. I'm gonna be honest, like, I don't care how old I get, even at 23, uh, almost 24, four years is a lot of time, bro. Like, that's, that's a big difference for me. Like, for me, I feel like I just, I feel like if it came down to it, you asked me, like, hey, edgy gamer, you know, would you date someone who's, like, 20 not, uh, like, you know, yeah, like I said, like, I'm, you know, with me being 23, they're like, yeah, edgy gamer, you want to date someone who's, like, 29? I'd be like, I don't know, I don't think so. Like, I think I would genuinely feel awkward. Fuck you. I would say you're uh, pretty, but you're actually pretty embarrassing. Ooh, got her. Thing. So part of the boss setup can just be you putting it on, running Hal into you, proc madness, and switching back. Yeah, I don't think I'll I'll, I'll probably do all that because I usually I'll use Hal mid boss fight sometimes. So it's all good though. It's all good though. You know what? Some may say it's crazy. But I say you doubt my man's power! Come forth, Roman! Ow. <laughs> ah, you fool. Get him, Roman. Bro did not just back that. Like, Roman, kick his ass. Roman, don't let him disrespect me like that. Let's go, Roman! Let's go. Uh... Well, I do appreciate the enthusiastic support going on in chat. I certainly do. Um, movie, I mean. Oh no, please don't power. Please don't poke me, Mr. Slime. Mr. Slime, can you not? Thank you, thank you. Roman, no! I'm scared to go forward without him. Oh. like I thought it would. Alrighty then. Oh. Be gone, beast! Well, madness shall take us all. You stood no chance. Um, cultivate self-confidence by just not giving a shit. I know when I do and do not have the knowledge to do shit. I know I can get knowledge quickly. Yeah, I mean, I will say having a uh, realistic look at yourself is very good for self-confidence, you know? So it's like, uh, you know, for like me. 
Like, I know how much I love how I look. Like, I'm very obsessed with my own looks and everything, as you guys know. But I also am very well aware that I'm not every single human being's type. So not every single person is going to walk and be like, oh my god, edgy gamer, you were the most gorgeous human being I've ever fucking seen. Like, no, that's not a realistic expectation or reaction at all. Like, no. But, um... I can't remember if that's important or not. Um, but, yeah, like, that's... That's what's helped me out a lot, you know? Because I will say this, before, before Edgy Gamer was an edgy gamer, I actually used to get really stressed about when, uh when people would think I looked, uh, like, when I, when people would think I might be gay. Because all in my mind I could think is, I was like, I'm always gonna be alone because every woman's gonna think I'm gay. And the way it is now, I was like, well, they're gonna have to be around me all the time anyways. So, if they can't handle me acting a little, you know, feminine, then, oh well. At that point, you know? But yeah, I, um... That's, that's, that's one thing that I really had to grow on, was like the, uh, you know... Not every single person is gonna find me absolutely gorgeous, and then, uh... Also, yeah, where the fuck is the map for down here, by the way? I actually don't remember. Where the map is for down here. It's somewhere around here. Yeah, and you know, uh, as I've gotten more and more confident with uh, with my appearance and personality as time has passed. Because I mean, after listening to my own voice for hours on end, I do find myself rather funny. Like you guys, you guys may watch my streams and like not laugh the entire time. I do laugh at my streams when I'm listening to it at work. So it's like. Like, I enjoy my personality, and I enjoy my looks, so. And to be honest, there's a lot of things in life that can make you happy that isn't a significant other. Like, don't get me wrong. It, I, I understand. Like, I completely understand and can relate to the wanting to have someone there. But it's, I feel like it's terrible to ever make that like a requirement. I feel like as soon as you make it a requirement to have someone there to make you happy, you'll almost never be happy, you know? But that's that's just from my experience. That's a that's an anecdotal advice, I would say. Yeah, cause I uh, the more the more I tell myself and feel that I need someone there to to ha help me be happy, the more unhappy I'm going to be. Your affirmations, that's really wonderful, yeah. And there's a lot of different things you can do for self-confidence. I mean, there's simple stuff like people work out to work on their physical physique, and there's also like, you know, the hap the positivity hormone uh hormones, uh chemicals that go in your brain whenever you're working out. At least from whatever I've from what I've heard. Um, then you know, there's working on stuff about yourself that you may not like as much that you, you can work on. Like for me. For the longest time, I'd always be upset with my hair 24-7. So what did I do? I went and changed my hair to something I would like. So, sounds dumb, but entirely something that has made me a lot more confident in myself. Like, the first step for me being confident was my hair. So. And there's nothing wrong with caring about the ones around you either. I feel like that's pretty, pretty important. Is this the map? No. Where's the map? Hello, Mr. Krabs. Please come back later. Yeah, I have no idea where this fucking map is down here, and I'm gonna have to go find it. It's bothering me that I don't have a map for down here. Um, I'll send you a daily if that's what I takes. 
Aggressive affirmations enabled. You know what? I agree. I second that. Fuck is this map at? Is it up here? Crab, you don't want me to hit you with the unender, the unending frenzy. All right. No one will be happy, especially my eyes. My message was, was appraised. I don't know why I said it like that, but my message was appraised. Fuck is this? Does anybody know where the? Uh, You know what? Ark! Can you beat these guys up for me? I know you are damn well not fucking with Mark. Actually, wait, Mark could probably just kill you. To be honest. Yeah, Mark's got it. Mark's got it. If Mark needs help, I'll come back and help. But I think Mark's fine. Now go punch some bad guys in the dick! Yeah, I think Mark will be fine. Get him, Mark! Get him! Eleven. Okay, now we're certainly going to have a few issues. Ned the Gamer will have to fix it. Mark, what are you doing? Rose just too silly for this universe, I swear. Get him, Mark. Get him. Beat his children in front of him. Show him no mercy. Let's go. The emotional damage is intense. Here, you know what? I'll help out. I mean, even though Mark is kind of bodying right now. Mark's kind of showing him what's to right now. Like, you know, what for. I mean, you know what? I really don't need to help Bro out. Alright, you know. Wasn't gonna do anything. There you go. We're gonna be here a while. There we go. It does blow my mind how tanky Mark actually is, though. He's a, now he's celebrating. You're doing a good job, bud. <laughs> oh my god. Bet. Okay. He's like, more? Oh, where the fuck is this map? Honestly, I don't think I'll find it, so we're just not going to worry about it. Because I honestly have no idea. Oh, well. Is it up here? No, I don't think so. Yeah, whatever. I just won't bother then with the map. What time is it? 4.15. Yeah, I should get offline, shouldn't I? Yeah, I probably should. Probably, probably, probably. Alright, alright. Well, let me go down here, and then I'll, uh... Probably... Get off for the time being. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I've been streaming for, what, four hours? Yeah. A good while, a good while. Um, let's see. There we go. And let me read chat real quick. That is very true. You have to... You gotta like yourself a little bit to really uh, bond with somebody. I, I I feel like that that makes sense. Well, regardless, I appreciated 
you guys hanging out with me tonight. I had a wonderful time. I didn't realize that we were going to have Roman pop the fuck off on stream and Daddy Blaze in here bodying enemies like it's no one's business and just having a fucking good time driving ourselves and every enemy abroad mad together. Um, I'll probably play a different game tomorrow night. We'll have to see. Um, like I said, I'll probably do some more Hyrule Warriors or I might do some Helldivers too. Well, I'm not sure yet, but for now, thank you all. Have a wonderful evening. And as always, three, two, one. Later, losers. And may we all burn in the maddening flame. For Roman! <laughs> I'm glad my hair looks good. Talking about self-image. God, I am obsessed with my own looks. It's terrible. Thanks for the stream, Ed Edgy Gamer. Absolutely, and I know you come on, uh, usually get on really, really late, Seppuku Forever, so if you ever miss it, it stays on, uh, a lot of my streams stay on Twitch, uh, the Twitch streams stay up for usually two weeks, uh, and if it's stuff like this, this playthrough, it'll end up on YouTube eventually. For anything that you do miss, you can always uh, go check it on YouTube if you want. I had a good time, as I usually do. You guys have a wonderful night. And yes, if you are curious why I'm looking over here, I'm reading I'm reading you guys with my peripheral, but I am staring at my uh, lip gloss and my eyeshadow, eyeliner, and my hair. I am very obsessed with my self-image. I can't help it. I can't help it. Good night.